Hey everybody. <laughs> um I do kinda wanna get like
All right, what's up, everyone? We got another evac tournament coming at you from. Yeah, I'm good. Doing good. Yeah, uh, we got another evac tournament coming at you from Adelaide Uni. It's good to be back. I'm very excited for some melee to play. You know, just uh, overall, the vibes are being set, and we're all really keen to play some games again. So yeah, very happy about that. And I'm really happy to be playing game. Um, but we're gonna be getting the tournament started very soon, everyone. Donut, thank you for the resub as always. Love you. Love your work. Love seeing you at Big Cheese. How you been, by the way? Um, also... Huh? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Thanks, fam. Yeah. Um, Alright. Yo, Jack. Both be mediocre on comms, but you know what? What we lack in charisma. What we both lack in charisma, we make up for with some, hopefully, game sub knowledge. Sub <laughs> Yeah, sub -hum. Hopefully. Yeah. But I, I doubt it. I don't know anything about this matchup. Who's even playing? Uh, we Florets have. Florets versus Catherine. Yep. Oh no. All right. Uh, stream. There we go. I was looking spooky for a second. Uh, yeah, flow rats and... Well, that's a lovely sound. Alright, he, he's back. Uh, P? Yeah, nice, it's already there. Uh, that should, should be... It should be a pretty close play matchup, right? It should, yeah. They're seated right next to each other, fourth and fifth. Fourth and fifth, so... How does this matchup usually go? Catherine won the last time, but Jack won the time before. Um, Jack still plays Sheik? Jack still plays Sheik. Okay, yeah. Yeah. It's... I don't know, I don't think Catherine's the greatest against Sheik, to be honest. There's a lot of people, I think, in Australia that don't have much experience versus Sheik. Yeah. I think it's one of Australia's worst matchups, to be honest. Um, Sheik, along with, like, Puff or Ices, there's just not enough of them. Mm. It's very, very easy to cheese people with Sheik. But, same thing with Peach, I guess. You just have down smash and it can work a lot of the time. <laughs> it really can. Um, Hi, Brad SSPF. Uh, how are you? So, uh, Jack's going to be looking for a lot of spaced aerials in this uh, matchup. Move the mic a little bit close, I think. Hello, hello. Can just to make sure. Can um, hey, Jack, you stream you, views? Can you tell me if you can hear me properly? Oh. Put the mic inside. Nice. I we can eat it if you want to, but I I don't like to eat microphones. They don't taste very good. Yeah, this is some high quality. This is some high quality comment commenting from my co-commentator here, Davin Mai. Only the um, best. From only South the best. Australia. Only the best of the boys. Uh, no. Um. <laughs> Boy. Let's see how this goes. Yeah. Okay, they're all out of the way. Yeah. How how are the essay results looking pretty recently? Because I was surprised by Catherine's seed. She's pretty high up there. Like it's like. Or something. She's gotten some pretty like in in local like tournament. She's got she had some pretty good results. Um, she was one of the benefit um, beneficiaries from Ruben going Falcon. 
Uh -huh. So, which I mean, merely that Falcon is still a very solid Falcon. Yeah. But oh yeah, by the way, chat. Today we are running a different rule set from usual. Ah, yes. We're running the Hacks Money rule set. So, final destination is a counter pick, and we're running Frozen Pokemon Stadium as a starter. So it's different from usual. This is obviously very bad for Peach. Very good for Fox, I guess. It's not. Is it? Yeah, I guess a little bit. Yeah, it's a little bit better. But yeah, the future is here. South Australia is at the forefront of it. Anyway, back to this matchup. That's not bad. Right. Zach has a slight lead. Catherine gets Chicken to a corner. See how she can close this out. Oh, uh, that's such a yeah. That like you can't do that like panic dash attack to try and cover. I think so. Get up. It's I think just, just um, if you just do a ledge dash there, mm. each can't really do anything against it. Oh, doesn't go back. Oh, takes every hit of the down smash. The thing is, Peach is above 100, so... Catherine was late, but Jack spot dodged. Yeah, that should be the stop though. Yeah. Right. Jack can clean this up really quickly though. All he needs is a jab grab. Grab to fall there, anything pretty much. Oh, but if Catherine gets a lot of down smashes in though, it's going to be pretty hard to get the stop back. There's another one. Some dash attack, right? Super tight spacing off uh, Jack's dash Oh, this is a really good punish right now. She can close this out. Uh, uh, above 100 get up, unfortunate. Ooh, but she still continues it. She shield the eyes in. And <gasps> oh, oh that was hell? that was really cool. And there's another uh, stop. Catherine up two stops. This Catherine's is like looking a dominant game actually. That's Catherine it. Catherine closes out again. Two. One down smash can actually push it. Oh, oh. Two. Push it into unwinnable territory. Yeah. Yeah. She's just dashing dash just outside. Very good. Mm. He's always catching the landings from the forwarders because uh, she gets the forward at a very specific timing and Peach can get under that with a dash attack. Uh, is Cam going to try and nair it? Does, yep. doesn't, that That's shouldn't work, classic. but it... Uh, I don't think that, like, Jack could have shielded, but I'm not sure what Jack went for Good after that. Over there. In that situation, Jack gets the grab, goes for the air, but Catherine gets a good slide off. And it's now. I don't agree with that turnip pool. I don't think at this point, like, turnips are what's... What Catherine's really looking for. Yeah, at this More point. Like a, a grab, I guess, or a dash attack or a down tilt, something to set up for a kill. Yeah, she wasn't getting these stocks by, um, you know, turnip camping. She was, like, yes. even just, like, setting up turnips. She was getting those stocks by just whiffing, like, dashing in and out of Jack's um, hitboxes and yeah, punishing I them. But I think I this main guy situation. Oh, no, never mind. Oh, gets up in, but doesn't kill yeah. just yet. Looks like Cal up there from Jack right there. <laughs> Still has to land Catherine though. Catherine just wants to find any trade you can get in there. There it is. There's the stop. The scrubby down smash, but sometimes it works. Three stops to one. How is Jack going to close this out? Dash attack is not going to do it. He needs to find a grab. Okay. But that's the wrong throw. That's not That's not the one you're looking for. Back to an end that situation. I guess he was. Do you think he wasn't comfortable, like, confident, like, closing out with the down I throw? Think, I, feel like. um, I think it was just a club. Club, honest, all right. Yeah. Because he threw really fast, usually she likes like to pump a couple of times, so if you throw straight away, it means it's a club, usually. That was really good, actually. She's been going dash, uh, dash really track for, like, with punishes. Down throw is actually getting the tech chase in both times. Grab my jack. Yeah, Sheik, like, if you down for a Sheik like that, Sheik's just always going to take away, and there's no real, like... It's very hard to cover it. Yeah. Sheik's next roll is just too long, and Peach is not the fast enough character to cover it. Oh, she's oh, trying to down... smash Yeah, there. just down smash. You had to... You don't want to, like, sometimes... Peach has that mindset of, I just can't use down smash all the time in this spot. I want to, like... Yeah. Mix it up a bit, but in, sometimes down smash is just the best option. Also, and like, if you're a stock up, you just want to trade as much as possible. Yeah, exactly. And Peach is a very good character to do that. Any hit you can get works wonders for you. Because if you come back with a new stock, you can crash cancel percentage, you can crash cancel the chicks, chicks moves and take, take the stock. Exactly. Position. Okay. That's, yeah. Good dash attack though. It uh, was, yeah. It was the only thing that Catherine could have gotten. Exactly. Is Jack going to close out the stock though? Good DI. Peach surviving very long. Good DI. If Jack can get this though, it's still quite spooky. Uh, oh, really amazing good. upstake, but even better down smash by Jack. That covers it. Alright, if I'm Catherine, I'm just not going to panic, but I'm also going to be very safe with my options near the ledge, because... Hey, there's the game. Game one for Catherine. Okay. And this is... Winner's round... One or two. I think they. I think it was round two. They both had a buy. But, um... No, I don't, did they have a buy? I'm not sure. I think I so. I think, yeah. yeah. Fourth and fifth seed, yeah. yeah um, no. So it's still only best of three territory, so... Oh, okay. So Catherine can actually just take this yep. right now. But Jack gets the kind of thing. Might go... 
Might go to Yoshi's. Jack says he likes Pokemon Stadium as well, so those two mm. possibilities, low ceilings. Good uh, good wide platforms to camp on. Uh, See, if it's me, I'm probably banning Stadium and going Yoshi's against... Uh, against Peach. Well, no, no, if I'm the Peach, against uh, Jack. Just because. But then again, I, uh, I don't know, actually. Because kevin has been using the space really well. This is Crows at Pokemon Stadium, by the way, Chad. So we won't see any transformation shenanigans. Jack can uh, use his platform to camp all he likes. <laughs> Does she actually like these? I feel like at least. I don't think so. Yeah, I think at least. I think these <laughs> they're, they're just there to like screw Chico when she does a short hop. But isn't expecting it. But Jack likes them, so we'll see. But they actually, you can actually stand on top of these platforms and cover a lot of space. You can, if you're intentionally like, using them well, you can do a whole lot of stuff. It's yeah. just you don't. The entire stage pretty much is needle territory. Mm. He just too, too slow to get under the shield. So Jack wants to play that way. He can. So he looks like he's like aggro, aggro sheep. Yes, aggro. <laughs> Sometimes. You don't want to think. Sometimes you just want to hit that big dash attack button. Both characters lower, you know. Aggression is the... Aggression is the... <laughs> he needs to close the stock up first. Oh, way dash attack comes out of the wall. It's too slow. Gets him to an edge last point. Let's see if he can hit this. Almost. Oh, that was a weird roll. Good DI, but yep. he can't really catch that in there. So she hesitated before grabbing ledge and let Jack slightly set up, but... No. After he gets back to safe, oh, it's back to neutral now. Jack plays this one down. He has to do it soon. He's, he should get one down smash, one dash attack, and he keeps at a 70%. Here we go, 70% oh, exactly. It's... Okay, he close it out. Slightly delays the down smash. Not sure if that was intentional or just messed up. Oh. He's getting whiff punished, like, so much, and... I feel like you can, uh, take a step back and charge the needle and make the peach come to you. Yeah. There's no, there's no reason to go in there f 2 and dash attack. Well, there's a grab, there's exactly. a grab. Hopefully it gets it punished off. Peach stuck on the handle. Alright. The peach. It's back to even 55. And you actually yeah. lead now. You don't want to. Keep up. You really don't want to float when like she's underneath that platform there because it can be so hard to actually hit her when she's underneath the platform as Peach and like you're so vulnerable to just any anti air. I agree. I think Jinx uh, is not actually very good in this matchup because uh, Jinx's arrows are very big, very fast. They can counter the point before and like, you have decent ground movement, and she doesn't have particularly great aerial movement, so you can definitely play the slow, like, weaving in and out on the yeah. ground, and then... Exactly. I think two feet should save more ground in this Oh, game. she burned her double jump when floating, but didn't get punished. Two. 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 I thought she was going to dodge. Peaches love air dodge in that spot, but... Exactly, the lead for the first time this set. Two. Two. Gets hit Very by those smart. needles. Yep. Those catch out a lot of people. I don't know why, but they... <laughs> Ah, uh, yeah. That's not where I want to be if I'm P. I don't want to just like. Pull. Oh, that. The barely clips the fair landing for down smash. Oh, and this is now. Good forward air by Catherine. Let's see if uh, Flores can make it back. Oh, he double jumped. Oh, That's no. it. That's the set, actually. That's, yeah. Catherine takes it over Florats, 2 0. I wasn't expecting that when I came into this. There I we go. It, was, yeah, it was. Catherine has, a, has gotten a lot better. Damn. Um, I'm, I'm going to like quickly check the um, stream. Not stream, um, the uh, bracket. Yeah, of course. Who do we have in chat today? Oh, hey, MSoftJ, how are you doing? Donut, Midori, Australia, and uh, Brad. Nice emotes. Where are these from? Next set, I think, is McLeod. 
Looks like looks like it is. Not entirely certain here. Haven't been given any information on the casting setup. We'll just wait. I have the same information as you guys actually. Hey XP two K. Hi Donut XD. Do you know who's on next? Okay. <laughs> Looks like McLeod is up. McLeod, who are you playing? I got I got ignored. Feels bad. I have no idea. Okay. F1 and F2 are your in games. That's yep. what you really need to know. Um, so, you can clear everything here. Mm -hmm. um, and anytime you make changes, you click the save icon. So, it's me and the characters. When a drop down comes up, just select it because it auto fills. Yep. You can also press Control S to save us. Okay. Um, you want to align the name tags to the ports. So if I was in port one, this is right. But if I was in port two, this isn't right. Sure. So you hit swap and save it if uh, if I wasn't in the right one. Yep. And then to change the cameras around, you press F2, which is the opposite. Yep. This makes sense. Basically, you just want to go F1, F2, mm -hmm. and then press F5 when a game finishes. Easy. So these are the main ones to watch out for. Yeah. Alright, this matchup I'm actually really interested in. KP Kaiser versus McLeod. Because McLeod has been getting a lot better recently. In fact, um, I haven't told anybody, but McLeod beat me in a set last week at EVAC. It wasn't a tournament set or anything, but it was just like a... What up? A friendly set. Hey. Hey, Will D. So, yeah, interesting matchup. I think McLeod can actually take this. I think he did last time. Did he? Can't remember. It was it was like the round robin tournament where like five people rocked up. Uh -huh. Yeah, but all of all of South Australia is getting better, so I'm really interested to see who's going to win this. Yeah, it's definitely like that middle PR sec or middle to top PR section where it's just like a big yep. upset fest. Yeah, pretty much. Which is cool. The same with this tournament. One to six seed can all take it. Yeah, think. yeah. Like, not a guaranteed win for me or Muscat anymore. Yep. Which is very exciting. McLeod can even win this entire tournament. Caleb can win this tournament if he gets to Grands. He is going to win the tournament. He will win the tournament, of course. But yeah, keen for this matchup. McLeod, he's a very technical player. He researches a lot of stuff. He knows like all the frame data. He knows almost every situation, what to do, what he can be punished, what can't be punished. He's definitely options. probably one of the, the best. But he's playing Luigi, so. Yeah, not a fan. <sighs> This is, this is horrible. I was expecting a good matchup today. I like commentating matches with Peaching. It's actually talk about, like, things rather than just like, oh wow, he did the move. Yeah, we'll probably be expecting a lot of you know, wave dash down smashes from Luigi. Wave dash jab grabs. Nair out of combos. The classics. Yeah. Yeah, all the obvious stuff makes sense, but I have no idea what the game plan is or... Yeah, I guess I'm curious what, why McLeod is picking Luigi, because I thought he switched to Peach. Yeah, I think, he's, I think he said that he was looking, his Peach was feeling off, well, I don't know. Oh, uh, that's, that's annoying. Hi Donut, I, thanks for subscribing, man. I was really wanting McLeod to go for a fight this tournament, I wanted the rematch with him. Yeah. But, he can still take... Kaiser with Luigi. Luigi, a matchup that nobody knows, nobody will learn, so he could cheese his way up. I guess to me, but like this pack up, this matchup seems bad, right? Because you just shoot the gun. And then yeah, this is Luigi's worst matchup, I think. I believe it's either Falco or Peach, both matchups. Moth? Moth? I'm not sure. I think Peach and Falco are the ones I hear right. about the most. Because Falco. 
shoot the gun, you stop the wave dash yeah. in. Yeah. You just uh, back air up to it, and Luigi has no way to get in. And um, Taco obviously has a ability to combo Luigi better than most other characters can. Yeah. So it's not that safe for Luigi to get hit. Oh, sure, you got extended names now. Yeah, that's right. Oh, for anybody new in the chat, we are running a modified rule set today. We have. FD as a counter pick and Frozen Pokemon Stadium as a starter instead. We're running a modified hacks money rule set. All the salty spacey. Maybe just this bad. is why McLeod has switched to Luigi. Yeah, doesn't maybe. Play exactly. Rule set. You don't get FD to start off with anymore. Because Kai knows he doesn't want to get like upset by a Peach. Where it's like fuck you, Peach. Exactly. Don't, don't get FD anymore. But uh, Pokemon Stadium is probably also equally bad, I think, for Luigi maybe. Oh yeah, Luigi. I'm, I have no idea. Neither do I, but um... Oh, because FD isn't even good for Luigi. So I guess for this matchup it doesn't matter as much. I think this matchup it doesn't matter where you go. Falco just wins it straight up. Yeah. But McLeod has some tricks. Yeah. Kaiser probably doesn't know all these tricks, so... You can always do something. Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be enough. I feel like you just... Shoot the gun, we'll I don't know. We'll see. Kaiser is a very, very fast Falco. He likes to move around a lot, very strong platform movement, very good laser game. We'll see if it can uh, keep this Luigi at bay. I think the top platforms are really good for him. Kaiser already starting out strong yep. with the lasers. It begins. Laser back airs, Luigi finding it difficult to get in. Gets a small hit in, but nothing big off of it. If Kaiser keeps this up for the entire set, it should be alright. Luigi trying to find a way in. He's only managed to find hits with the down beat yeah. so far. Kaiser should, uh, should be a bit more prepared for those. Good lasers. The cloud just doesn't want to approach now at this point. Oh no, this could Can be he get the stock. cheese. Oh shit. Oh, and he the ledge. The oh, he gets the stock. The cloud is a god. So he goes from two down bees into a stock. That's what you need, but I guess. Kaiser cleans it up very quickly. Back to the laser game. I think if Kaiser doesn't switch up his game plan too much, he should win this yeah, set. Yeah, yeah, just... But it always, it's always hard to keep a game plan going for the entire set because the opponent adapts, so you want to adapt back. But you should always, if you're the better character, you should try to force the opponent to play your game yeah. instead of adapting for him. That's where the gun comes in really handy, I Kaiser guess. Kaiser quickly takes a stock, actually. I didn't even notice. Yeah. Up to the top platform, Luigi has to approach now since he's behind. Guys are gonna just keep up there, keep being evasive, not look for any scraps that aren't advantageous. Yeah, he's definitely not going in very much, he just exactly. picks, his, picks his spots really well. Because he knows that if Luigi gets one big hit on him, he could lose the stock, just like first stock. Luigi has a very strong punish game, stronger than a lot of people give him credit for. Yeah. Especially against the spaces. Yeah, exactly, spaces. And he takes the stock from one... This game is really even for how much cards win the neutral. Yeah, yeah. Kaiser's just getting clipped by random hits. He's, like, he's playing the neutral really safely, but the cloud can just sneak in there with that down smash, for example, and do a lot of percent. Kaiser's actually behind now. Yeah, it's, it's weird. Like, he's with the whole two stock, just like winning every exchange. Cloud finding more, more and more ways to get in as the game goes on. Oh, that's cool. And he actually takes the stock. All right, the cloud in the lead. Let's see how Kaiser wants to take the stock. Might have to... I think if he keeps the game plan up, should be fine. Because he went to the top platform, that stock where he lost. Yeah. And that was very different from what his um, initial plan was. Just stay on the edge guard. On the side plat. Oh. Missed the edge guard. Hard to get there. Gets the laser forward smash though, and it's back to the even. Okay, so as long as he doesn't get cheese, I guess. Just, yeah, take the top platform. Luigi Wapooing down in the bottom. Kaiser does not want any of that action. As he gets Yahoo'd, but Crash cancels it perfectly. And this could be. Nice, that's a good no. combo. Back to ledge. Neutral, neutral, neutral. Kaiser looking for some sort of aerial, some sort of aerial. Spot dodge, spam gets him. Kind of abandoning his game plan a little bit, but. He's in an edge guard situation. Luigi notoriously bad recovery. I don't know, McLeod makes his edge guard seem pretty good. Like, he gets it back quite a lot. I've noticed that. He has a, he has a couple tricks he can do. Yeah. Also, Luigi has humongous magnet hands. As in, you can up be very far away from the stage and still make it. 
Oh, oh just makes just it back. Misses. That was so unfortunate. Really good angle. Please. That's a shit way to end, but... Uh. Misses the ledge dash, unfortunate. Kaiser takes game one. I'm on a... The save button. A 1 0. And I'm not sure if this is actually a best of 5 or a best of God knows. 3. Oh, we're about to find out. So, what stage does uh, McLeod want to go to, you reckon? <laughs> this is Peach. I actually I could talk about this stuff. Yeah. God. Uh, what does Luigi want? Fountain of Dreams? I literally have no, no idea. I just go to Fountain or Yoshi, surely. Just try to. Try to. And Falco's stock really early. Yeah, I think get some cheese. Yoshi's is always just like the Falco stage, right? So I don't know. If it is, it is. But you can always get some cheese in that that's stage because it's so true. small. Oh, nice. Um, Bow bombs is actually not a counter pick in this tournament rule set. I tried to argue for it, <laughs> but the TOs were just, you know, just not having any of it. Yeah, hacked is boring. Oh, Matad actually playing Peach now. Yeah, you should have done this. So like, I mean, in my opinion, you should have done this from the start. Got a DI in front for that up throw. Missed the edge guard actually. Unlike him. But still gets the grab. Still in an edge guard situation. Kaiser with a straightforward angle. Matad not prepared for that at all. And now Kaiser is in the neutral edge back. Matad makes it back with the edge. Okay, so obviously on this stage, one grab should be death. Yep. Matad in the lead. Falco does have a good punish game though. You get really good um, um, ladder combos and stuff. Yeah, I think Falco also has a really good neutral game on the stage as well. Yeah, 100%. It's not like super peach sided, but you just you just have the grab. You just have to be careful of Peach's humongous aerials. Yep. And so there's the grab. That should be the It should stop. be dead. As long as McLeod doesn't drop this. This is one of the easier edge guards. One of the easier chain grabs, I think. Yep. Hey! I've never missed it in my life. Good DI by Kaiser. Realizing that the is going to come out. Oh, it and misses he makes the it back actually. This could be a chance to. Get I don't know if McCloud's like errors did come out. Okay. There's the fade back forward air, and that catches Kaiser. McCloud really likes his um, double jump backwards fade fade back forward airs. Yeah. Like they they cover a lot of space, and you can't really approach against it because it's just so fast. So you kind of have to just wait it out. Nice. That's, That's one thing he definitely space. implements well is like doing different floats and stuff. He, like, make, he mixes up like the double, he uses, uses double jumps and hyper flows and things to mix up like where he's approaching from. Yes, he's actually been implementing the hyper float a lot. Just the other day, he was discussing about using hyper float up air out of shield. Yeah. And how uh, advantage. I don't I just, I just mash the buttons, I don't worry about it. Like, yeah, hey, just that's uh, it. hold down out of shield and press down smash. That's yeah. what I do. Seems to work a little bit. And without yeah. running away with this game. Yeah, let me just. I guess it's understandable. It's his counter pick on FD. Kaiser Kaiser's game. strong point is more of his platform movement. Yeah, no, I agree with that. Platform mix up, so it's it's um it's reasonable to expect this. He isn't getting the massive ladder combos you need in this stage. Exactly. He's not winning like he should win neutral more as Falco, but it doesn't seem like he is. Very hard. Because the punish game is just so yeah. much in Peach's favor. Yeah, you gotta be scared of the grab. He knows oh, and gets the weak up there. I don't know why that hitbox exists, but it does. Worked out. Gets the stop. McLeod looking for any sort of opening here. One dash attack, one grab, one back air. So Obviously with Peach in your head, every trade can do in your favor. So. Exactly. Doesn't have to rush. Oh, power shield to death. That was nice. Nice time. One all now, actually. We're expecting McLeod to stay with Peach or switch to Luigi. McLeod. I can't expect anything. I want him to stay Peach, but I have literally no Either idea. Either way, I think Kaiser should take him to Yoshi's. Could be the best stage for against both of them. Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, you would have banned it, right? Yeah, I guess I'm assuming you see. Oh, yeah. Nice. I'm assuming you banned Yoshi's. Probably. If this is the best That's three. really weird, because, like, you get that, um, that down air and. You, you figure it wouldn't lead to something. Like Kaiser's is just really looking for these down airs on Peach. He's not being patient at all. He's just shooting him out there, hoping it hits on very, very good down there. there yeah, that that's a beautiful stock. McLeod caught floating just a little bit too close to the stage. Kaiser playing a very nice vertical game here. This is his strength, actually. Yeah. Peach also very weak in the vertical game. Too slow to get up there against Falco's uh, double jump. 
Kaiser realizing this and using it to his full advantage. Kaiser definitely starting off nice. Yeah, back to neutral. Neutral, neutral. Almost gets the stop there. But Cloud needs to find his footing in this game. He's uh, he's kind of getting beaten around by Falco. Yeah, bit. yeah. Really um, unable to find any good openings. Only, only trades at this point. He's actually lost out on all the other shield options. Yep. Getting things sh um, shined out of them. Great DI by Kaiser. Prevents any follow up from the dash track. Cloud sneaks in there with a the neutral air. So there, there's his first stop. See if we can find another one. It's Peach though. Yep. You can always get a stop really quickly. This could actually be it right here. Good tech away by Kaiser though. I got better. Actually gets away from the approach this time. Yeah. Approaches with a up air. It's interesting. Oof. Both Gangs players kind of, get zone. Yeah, both players kind of just um, putting safe arrows out. They were forward air. Beautiful but combo by Kaiser. That, that was, was insane. Really that nice. Was... Double forward air into down air. That was Peach. really cool. Don't see that every day. No. This man's incredibly custom. <laughs> He's got the power shields, but they're not linked too much like last game. Okay. Cloud gonna look for anything he can get, any clean hit. This is where you go to the side of the stage and hope for cheese. Yeah. Good shit, but Cloud gets, you know, one cheese edge guard, one down smash near the ledge. Could the game could be back to you. Kaiser obviously not gonna let him have it. Laser Finishes forward smash, the, forward the classic. Smash. Good game by Kaiser. Congratulations for moving on. Yeah, and no, I look really solid in that third game. When Cloud drops down to losers. He'll still have a chance to make it back. Yeah, I don't know, it's always hard with these like counter picks and stuff, because like, you look so solid in game two, and it's always like, you always think, if I just went Peach game one, well, what would have happened? Counter picks make a lot of difference in this game as well. Like, um, no, you saw McLeod three stock on, on FD. Yeah. FD getting two stock on Pokemon Stadium. It's a, it's a very big swing. Sometimes it's, it's hard to adapt to different stages very quickly. Okay. All right, well, I'm Bye, everyone. now. Bye. What's up, gamers? Looking for a sizzling set. Winners, semis already, huh? Yeah. Got
Kai and Musket, two of our better players, right up there. Contenders to win the whole thing. It's an important match. Let's see how it goes. You're a gamer. You're a gamer, Donut. <laughs> You've had it in you this whole time. Oh, what is that? Oh, shit. Sorry about that. Okay, that's what that is. Whoops. Oh, I figured that out. All right, game one, Dreamland. Nice big stage. Get a lot of, uh, get a bit more time to feel each other out. It's always nice. Pressure. He throws him back into the stage. I don't know why he did that. Maybe he's looking for some sort of DI setup. Alright. Puts him up. Kind of like the, the up the up air he did to push him off the platform, but if he had like one more layer there to like instantly capitalize on that fact, that could have been no. But he gets the stock anyway. Alright, Musket's got the center, but Kai jumps over. Okay. Still looking a bit not fully clean from Musket. From either of these, look at these missed air dodges. Missed air dodged early in the set, I'm sure they'll put it together soon. Whoever does first, you know they're gonna have a big lead. Alright, that should have been a stock, but Musket not quick enough. to the ledge, but he fucks up his ledge dash and dies. Classic move. Okay. This is looking a pretty good punish. Still gets a, a lot. That's a good 60%. And counting. It's pretty strong momentum. He's gonna bring it all the way back. Oh. Yeah. Correctly assesses how much time he has. Oh, he said spot dodge. That's a nice, nice sequence. Maybe Musket's gonna be the first to really cook it up. Uh, yeah. yeah, he's definitely dead off of that. Hey, fully even game, nice. Ooh, see that? Like, that was like a whole interception there with the laser immediately the shine to follow up. That was really cool. No punish on that. It's the kind of like thing you'd expect from a newer player to do, so I guess he just wasn't fully really uh, prepared to punish it. He misses it, but. Okay, now Kai's in the lead. Okay. But, you know, we've seen just earlier in this game, Muskets able to quickly rack up damage and take stocks, so it's definitely not out of it. Yeah, all over him. There you go. Uh, just like that. It's even game again. Back and forth. Ah. Oh, wow. Down to the shine. Yeah, you don't expect that kind of grab from Falco, though. That's nice. He's moving! Oh, that would have been pretty sick. But now, he's kind of fighting for... Oh, man. It's kind of a heartbreaker. All of that. The musket brings him back. That was so close to me. That was a very, very, very close game. Alright, we're in a battlefield. I pushed to the corner, but no. All right, let's get. All right, let's get. Ooh, nice defensive drill there. Ooh. Ah, yeah. Good awareness to punish that 
Okay, I'm not letting him get away with that kind of pressure. Oh. Yep. Oh, nice. Tech chase. Oh. Didn't quite have the timing. Ah, and he gets that weird uh, sailing with a shine. And he gets sent up. Out of combat. Alright. Now, Kai's in the lead, but have we seen right here? We've seen again, Musket's definitely more than capable of making this even again. Oh, that poked? That's kind of rough. Oh, little shield in time. Man, these shine grabs, Kai, Kai's been doing a lot of them. That poked? If that killed. Over him. That's a two stock lead. Now, this is kind of a lead. Yeah. Oh! Right, that can't have been, a, that can't have been intentional, but he'll take it. Alright, All right, what's Musk gonna have to do? What's Musk gonna have to pull out to make it, to bring this back? He's gonna need to get some big damage, keep the momentum up. Doing a pretty good job, but uh oh, uh oh. All right, he's not not out of it. Good day, mate. What are you doing here? Oh, careful with that. How's this game looking? Uh, Let's get up 1-0. Yeah, it was a really really close game. That, like a... I almost had, and then then it kind of swung around. Guys up in this game though. Yeah, he's, he's definitely up. But he's yeah. got just. Musket makes it back. Musket's staying in it though. He's not out. He's definitely not. Musket can turn it at any time. Yeah. It was much like last game. It was like, you know, Kai having a couple of leads here and there, but Musket brought it back. That's the matchup, right? Yeah. Spacey versus Spacey. One shine can settle the stop. Here it is. Gonna be a repeat of the first game. Could it be? We'll see. We'll see if Musket can uh, bring this one back. Yeah. Kaiser. Guess there, it there. Down, there we go. Beautiful. Still. Okay. That's good. Very good with that double shine. Yeah. Very clean shield pressure. Ooh. Kaiser the challenges him on a platform. He knows that he's ahead. He just wants to get any hit ahead. There's nice. the hit though. Good poke. That poke, right? Yeah, yeah, I think he did poke. Did poke. That was Muscat nice. turns it around though. Gets his own punish. Oh, he's dead. That's, That's it. Stop. It's That's pretty it. much even. It's just like game one. See if Kaiser can keep his composure. Uh -oh. oh, that was a clutch tech there. Without that tech, he probably would have died. Yep. Back to neutral now. Wow. Kai trying to get off this platform. platform. Yeah. Ooh. Look for the something. Well. Musket just getting these small chip hits in. Grab that. He could have shined. Yeah. Small back oh, no, he's falling apart. Musket Kaiser might just have. Down, but Musket. Doesn't get the tech chase. No. Great ledge dash. Must get the eye though. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh, he's still living. Oh, no jump. No jump. Musket, you could have killed him. That's the, that's the stock. Come on, Musket. You should have killed him there. Oh, this is going to be a close set. He had no jump. He, he scrapped ledge. He's over. If every game is like that, this would be the best set of the tournament. It could be. I mean, this is a pretty important set because obviously two of the contenders to win. I think winner of this one goes to grand finals. Or winner's finals, sorry. Yeah, this is winner's, winners semis, finals. according to the screen, which I trust. Yep. But I don't have the bracket here. Uh, maybe there's some way of looking at it. I don't know. There might be a command in the stream, actually. Okay. Either way, Muscat takes him to Yoshi's. What do you think of that? I think it's a good Fox stage in this matchup, to be honest. Yeah. It's either it's this uh, stage or Final Destination, which I'm surprised Muscat didn't actually go to. Yeah. He's very good at, at the chain grabs. That's true. It's one of his one of his strengths. Both of them, both of them like that stage too. Or yeah. at least Kai used to practice it a lot. I'm not used to. But uh, Muscat's punishes are uh, very very clean. His yeah. his uh, chain grabs are very good. Did you see that? That was kind of sick. They shined a wave land up to. Oh, nice. I love grabbing. Good tech chase. That's a stock. I love grabbing so much. 
It's pretty nice because, you know, Falco usually doesn't grab, so then Kai being able to grab so much. And, it's a good uh, mix-up to have. Yeah, to be, able to, to be able to follow up, follow up after it. Yep. There's quite a number of situations where he just gets hits that other Falcos maybe wouldn't. It's very good recognition. I think it's quite underused by Falco. Just using grab as like a pressure mix-up to force yeah. the opponent to roll out of shield or anything. Yeah. It's, uh, it's good. It was part earlier where Musket like recovered on a platform and there was there was enough time, not enough time to shine in. But he wave landed on and grabbed him. Yeah. Like, in that situation, no, you wouldn't expect any Falco to grab you there. Exactly. And it's like perfect. Good up tilt, actually. This is a really strong combo by Kaiser right now. Yeah. Almost takes the stock, but Muscat with a good ASDI down. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's a situation like that, maybe a grab, possibly. Good edge guard. Kaiser up, one stock. Yeah. Muscat needs to get some sort of opening. Okay. Gonna knock down, but didn't get much. Oh, there it is again. The, yeah. the Falcon grab on the top on the top platform. Yeah, that kind of thing. No punish. This guy gets him with the full up back air. Yeah, you try a and staple of this matchup. You Not try good. and weave yeah. around the recovery, and eventually, you know, sometimes that can just get you killed. Yeah, but you know. You know. A bit of pressure there. Kai's a very good at the platform pressure, actually. Gets the back air, that's a strong reaction from him. Oh, nice tech. Nice tech. He's living. And he's actually back. And he he in a uh, few more seconds. A few more moves on Kai's stale move. Oh, oh, what a shine. Accidental. What a challenge. Oh, good up smash. That, Misses yeah. the follow up, though. You need to get that tech chase if you want to go for that. Oh, what? No shine, shine hit? hit? What the hell? There wasn't even a climb. Uh, two invincible frames. Crazy. Good up. This would uh, be the game. Oh, this is a very stressful matchup. If he had somehow landed and double shine there, he might have been able to push him off. Kaiser gets a down smash. Is this the stock? Yeah, it's it fun. is the stock. It is the stock. Randall's nowhere to be found. He just left the venue. Kaiser up 2-1 now. Here we go. Hopefully Muscat takes him to FD now. Yeah. I want to lose another game like that. Well, you know, this set might go the way of those first two games. There it is. Kai having a bit of a lead, a bit of a lead, but Muscat bringing it back. Very bringing true. Bringing it back, it could happen. Oh, how do you get the grab like that? A little... Yeah, there you go, shine grab. You really gotta watch out for that against Kai. Yeah. Both players haven't found a clean opening just yet on this stage. No. They're just kind They're of scraps. Oh. Flailing about. Kaiser gets the first big opening. Good double jump out by Muscat though. Gets it down there, that's the stop. Kaiser up 2-1 on Muscat's counter pick. Yep. But Muscat answers straight back with a chain grab, drops it first. Grab. I think he was looking for some sort of response there, but he didn't get it, whatever it was. Amazing pressure there. Muscat already at 83%. That ain't good. You don't want to be, in this game, you kind of want to be low on the numbers. Indeed. Especially against a character like that. I mean, like, it. you know, he's just dead. That, yeah. That's it. it Wouldn't happen if he was at zero. Kaiser looking very clean with his punish game on the stage, actually. And, and not only his punish game, but his, his uh, pressure follow-ups yeah. on shield. He's the double shine, wave dash backs, and Muscat's shields look very, very good. He's definitely practiced his combos on this character on this stage a lot. So has Muscat, though, looking yes. like getting some follow-ups. Edge guard situation. Kaiser loses the stock. Not yeah. looking happy about that one. No. But it's still even though. In fact, Kaiser's still in the lead slightly. Very slightly. And it's gone. Almost. Uh, no, it's not gone. Wait a minute. Pop opportunity. No. Oh, big. Big. That's huge. He's at 40%. Very nice. I mean, if you're Kai, it's very nice. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, this could be the end of the set. This How is objectively keep keep very, very nice. Oh. Drops the combo there. It was until you said it. I should just, uh, should just stop quiet. talking. Commentator's curse. Oh. Didn't get hit the right way. 
huge shine. Give me the back out there. How do you grab like that? It's gonna whiff. What are you doing, Musket? No, he's falling apart. Yeah, it's over. Kaiser takes that 3 1 over Musket. 3 1. Alright. Against all seeding odds. You know, Musket, he was looking like he had a bit more of the clutch factor early on, but it looks like Kai had more staying power overall. Musket just couldn't deal with the pressure, I think. Yeah, he couldn't deal whenever, with the big stage nerves. Whenever Kaiser was on Musket's shield, Muscat just um just panicked. It was yeah. always a roll, or he got caught out of uh, yeah caught like out of right at the end there. He had the fade away now, and it's like there's no way you should grab there, and he he just he just he had to do it. Exactly. Sono tori this. Anyway, uh, I was told one set, but wait a minute, holy crap! <laughs> oh my god! All right, uh, who's playing next? Oh, d oh, I see. It's pretty hype. You got Catherine playing against Davin. Davin here, probably the favorite. For sure? For sure? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, he is. For sure. I'm just trying to remember if they've played before. Because Catherine has a, has a knack of just... Especially recently, she's had, like, some... Interesting, like, sort of upsets, almost, against some people. What? Yeah, you can. I can't stop you. Uh... Alright, Catherine. What's Davin's tag again? Uh, Davox? Ah, uh, of course. Davox. There we go. Is he playing? Daisy is disgusting. <laughs> Daisy's the best color. David Nangs? I don't know. Has he? I'm pretty yeah. sure he's still Davox, isn't he? Change it to David Nangs. <laughs> I don't know. This is not winning semis, is it? Uh, I think it is. It might be. Holy oh, crap. Did he change his tag to, to David Nangs? Yeah, he did. Allegedly, Changed according it. to the chat. Just put, just put is David Nangs in. Hey, is he? Are you sure? Alright. Okay, this is when it's semis, right? Okay. Alright, cool. It is David Nangs. Just, just put. I don't know if I believe it. I don't believe it. You'd have to ask him after the set. Alright. It's a pretty, pretty solid lead in this matchup. Yeah. That's a really solid lead in this matchup. 30 percent is like not much. It is something because crouch cancelling becomes a little bit less effective. But yeah, against Peach, it's kind of scary to do that anyway. Because I mean, of down smash and crouch like cancelling dash attack is pretty good. Yeah, it is. All right. All right. Was a big lead, but shouldn't be anymore. Davox falling for the down smash. Yeah, I mean... Wow. It's an unusual situation. Uh-oh. Big damage. Yeah. Have they played before, do you know? Uh, I don't think they played last year. I think the year before that they played. And Davin won, right? And Davin actually played Fox, and Catherine beat Fox. Oh, damn. That's wild. Yeah. Alright. Nice sequence. For all that, they're actually even. Catherine just gives him the ledge. Though. Yeah, I mean, you can only cover so many things. Yeah, it feels like with Peach, it's kind of hard to like quickly just go to the ledge to cover it. It can be, yeah. Uh, if you're right next to it, then then of course. But so run speed is not as fast as some other yeah. characters. And then when you get there, you need to turn around. Which if she has a turn up, she could do that, but. Ooh. Okay, down. Okay, Catherine's up. That's yeah. nice. I did I did say earlier that Devin was probably the favorite for this, but that was getting too a bit sure, yeah, you know, that really was getting a bit desperate there with the grab. Just like forcing it. Forcing the grab? What do you think he should be doing? I mean like I don't know. Playing more safe, like uh, patiently. More have more patience. Yeah, you can't really like rush Peach down because he just really good like defensive options. Yeah, like uh, dashing, attacking, and just crouching. And yeah, it's true. 
no. What a net. It was nice and easy to grab. Oh, oh my sucks. god, he tried the tech. I love I love that that up B to grab ledge, but that yeah, I appreciate it, but obviously he did it at the wrong time. It looks really cool. Yeah. I mean, you could say that, but if she didn't try and go to the ledge, then, uh, yeah. or she did something a bit differently. Yeah, I guess she didn't really have much of a reason to go to the ledge. I mean, in that situation. I think she she did, but I don't know. Oh, that was... I mean, he still gets the hit. He's trying to cover a lot of things. All right, she should be dead? Yeah, yeah up here. Yeah. yeah. Good old America. Yeah. Since we uh, came came here, things ain't been quite the same. Yeah, it's gonna be hard for her to cover that. Although you know what I would have done in that scenario yeah. is I would have landed up the, from the float and then jumped up and uh, double jump cancel grab. But Catherine cleans it up anyway, so you know. Yeah, it was a pretty good yeah. showing game one. Goes for the. Yeah, that's game one for Catherine. Let's go. Yeah. It's best of five though, so she's still got a bit of work ahead of her. It's got the FD counter pick, but it's she, so yeah. more yeah. Yeah. Wait, you said FD? Uh, I think yeah, FD is good for. Yeah, FD is yeah, good for Peach, not for she. Is that good for she? Or is it? I don't know. It's because she doesn't have the platforms. I don't know these things. Yeah, yeah you're right. Yeah, and then she can't, she can't uh, jump, double jump, cancel land on them. Yeah. As she will do eventually, I'm sure. Yeah, that's Catherine's specialty. Double yeah. jump land. <laughs> I mean... Ooh. That, was, that worked out really nicely for her, because she shielded on the platform, and then his aerial just pushed her off naturally. Yeah. It's like even better than a shield drop, kind of. I'm not sure... Yeah, I've seen, I've seen a few good players do that. It's definitely a thing. Yeah. Well, that was nice. I don't know... She has to position yourself just right, and then it kind of depends on your opponent hitting you in a certain way, but it's really nice. But yeah, you gotta be you got to be a little bit careful, because if you're not facing the right way, when you get pushed off, you go into tumble. Yeah. Rather than uh, not tumble. The game count? Oh yeah, the day. The day, that's, you know, that's very uh, observant of you. Sorry, stream. I'll have that fixed. Okay. Oh! Oh my god. What is oh that? What kind of tech is he pulling out? Devin killing yeah. yourself a lot. Yeah. Right. Ooh, how did that not hit? Okay. Harold Rims repeat. Yeah, that was a very custom SD. Definitely. It certainly was. Okay. Good range. Alright, even us. Oh yeah. Oh, yeah, Darren just zoning with needles. Yeah, or cornered her even. Oh. Yeah, shooting against Catherine is really, really good because she will dash attack a lot. Yeah. Sometimes when you shield against her, if you just like. It's hard. Yeah, some, sometimes she, do, you, she does mix it up. Like she goes for grabs and like down smash. But like, out, but like sometimes when you shoot against it, if you if you hold it, like she'll dash tag into it. Because like yeah. she'll expect you to try and do something because you've waited a certain number of yeah. time in the shield. Yeah, she definitely knows what she's doing, but I still feel like she over does the dash tag a lot. I mean, it's very tempting. Yeah, it is. Because, you know, it's a very good move, and it's hard to... Sometimes it's hard to make things work without it. Mm. Alright. Yoshi is still yeah. not enough to kill. Even on the low, low, low ceiling for this stage. I was kind of expecting a grab there, actually. After you did the, the, the hop, but... Yeah. It's an unsafe turn up pulled by Cap. You gotta take some risks. Don't always pay off. Yeah. Oh, that was nice. Damage, yeah. Nice. Yeah, so Peach can't crouch cancel much now, I think. I think she can still do some hits of dash yeah. attack. And jabs. Oh, there you go. Nice. That was a comeback. Comeback and a half. Alright. Now it's basically a so best of three with no bands. Oh! Subbing in the CPU. It's a bold choice. It's not what I would do. Yeah. 
to give your hands so a rest. She goes to the counter pick stage, FD. Yeah. No platforms. But then Broken she's counter picked, it, counter picked herself. She can't. Oh man, not fully for the wavelengths though. What? Yeah, yeah, it is the best of five. It's the best of three now with no bands. You know, both these characters don't have like. Yeah, I. The it feels like both movement. characters kind of struggle at approaching each other. Yeah, they don't have the typical ground movement that a lot of more well, like character like and Fox like, or Marth or yeah. Captain Falcon would have. So yeah. They kind of have to play it really slowly. Yeah, it's emphasized really heavily on like a big stage, like FD as well. Yeah, and there's no platforms to mix things up. Yeah. So and they gotta really rely on the projectiles. Yeah, it's super hard to like get in, it seems like. Can be. Oh, that was interesting. Because you can't just like run them down so easily. Yeah. Not without being like a huge gamble. Yeah. Yeah. Clean. Davin reading that Catherine is going to throw it out. Reading. Peach gets the trade though, that's kind of nice. Yeah. Peach gets a lot of stupid trades. Bruh. Nice. Nice girl. Okay. Maybe? I think maybe there, if you let... Oh, I don't know. The, the RB hitbox is pretty big. I was thinking maybe if you like let go and like get behind her and then like hit her as she's up being up. Yeah, that could maybe work, but that'd be like such a big hitbox. I don't know if you could do it just by dropping back. Like, nice dash dancing. Yeah. Oh, no punish. It's kind of hard to punish. Uh, both their down smashes can be somewhat hard yeah. to punish on shield sometimes. It's all. It's an awkward timing. Yeah. I need to get better at that. This is turning into a pretty big lead here. If Catherine yeah. doesn't start cooking. Yeah, Davin's just like dash dancing more and just like waiting for Catherine to do something, it seems. You see you see right there, that's the one of the perks that Sheik has. Oh my god, this turned around big front big time. I was gonna say, one of the perks Sheik has. She's still not dead, but Oh, that was a that was actually a great back nice air. Nice reaction. Oh wait, she messed up. It's a great back air on the um the turns to make a hit <laughs> like that. Okay, okay. There we go. I say it's and a big stitch face. Really? Oh my god. Oh, he's turning it all around. Oh, oh yes, he's, he's solving it. it. Nice. There's not a lot of life on that stitch face. Though. Oh, there's plenty of life, baby. There's plenty of life. He's got all he needs. Oh, man. Maybe I should play Sheik. There we wow. go. Look at the damage. That's justice. Stitch face turning out bad that's, for Catherine. That's justice right there, baby. My favorite thing playing against Captain is catching stitch faces. Yeah. But even when I do it, I'm playing Marth, right? So it's not. Yeah, Marth's story sucks. So I should play Sheik. There we go, nice. Pretty convincing. I'm not letting it hurt in the way. I was going to say, one of the things Devin did uh, later, he's taking advantage of the fact that Sheik doesn't have a great dash chance because she goes into run so quickly. But because yeah. of that, you can uh, you can crouch you can like crouch to cancel the, the, yeah, run, the run and then immediately do yeah. a forward tilt. Yeah, which is a, obviously a fantastic move. Yeah, so you kind so of run forward and forward tilt, which not many characters really do or can do. Yeah, I agree with this counter pick because I think I feel like Catherine's better on the smaller stages, yeah. just because of how Devon was playing that FD game. Yeah. Yeah, maybe I should play Fox after all. Yeah, he listen to good, Norbert. He love the good. Item throw. Or at least, like, good enough. I don't know quite how it ranks, but it's better than Mars. It's just propaganda to stop you from playing Mars. I mean, Mars, you know, he's fun, but. Wait a minute. This game looking pretty pretty strong for Gap. Tech chase. Shield drop back air was interesting. It's pretty good. It let him get, like, two. It's pretty, pretty good. Pretty good damage. Because yeah. normally you get like one aerial, and that's the standard. Yeah, combo. like if he nared there, I feel like he wouldn't have gotten anything off the nair. Yeah. So the back air was like really good. Oh, that was so scary. 
Oh, there we go. Really nice. A dash dance. Oh. Nice follow up. That was nice. He's dead. Right? Yeah, yeah. She got him as he was recovering, so. Oh! Can't jump away from that. That's the dragon, right? I don't know. It's cool. Solid net. I think maybe, I think with that nair there, I think what he tried to do is he tried to jump up and catch it, but he didn't mistimed it, so he got the nair instead. That was a nice reaction to the dash attack. I, I actually, that was probably my favorite thing against playing against Peach is catching turnips. I played Moth. <laughs> yeah, we already established that. Yeah. You're right, you're right, that's true. And Davin messing up his ledge dash or what Wait, is that another st that's another stitch? That's another stitch phase. Bro, right, get that out of here. Get get rid of it. There you go. Yeah. That ain't fair. Alright. Anyway, Captain's got quite a sizable lead here. This kind of pick has been really great for us. The platforms seem to be the key to all of this. Yeah. And a smaller stage. Yeah, Davin using jab, I think, to beat dash attack startup. It's pretty good. That seems pretty, uh... That seems good. I don't know. Yeah, it seems I mean, good if you can do it. You know? Yeah. At this percent, it's a good option. Well, you do get... It kind of, like, confirms to a hit, so it's... Good. Yeah, Davin's taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. It's not good. Can't take too many more hits. Because any hit from Peach generally is just, you know, yeah. no bueno at high percent. Yeah, because now Peach can just trade and it's just like... Yeah. That's, where, that's where Peach is good. Or, I mean, it's just any random straight hit. Yeah. Alright. He can still... Ooh, attack keeps it in it. Yeah, this is so scary as she is like any little hit. You really gotta play pretty perfectly, yeah. and uh, yeah, you go. It's over. Two two, two two. Game five. Do you wanna hop on commentary? You're more excited about this than I am. Do you wanna, do you wanna sit in on this? Alright, McLeod's coming on for commentary. Alright, McLeod joining you with Caleb to commentate an intense game What's five up? between number five in Australia and oh my God. tenth on the South Australian PR. Uh, ninth on the you South Australian PR. I definitely can. So Davin was looking really good towards the end of the game. Go ahead, Caleb. Yeah. It's just unfortunate that he was at really high percent. Peach can just trade. Yeah, Catherine just like got away, got a bit lazy and like just traded for three stocks. Yeah, and, like not very effectively, I mean, but he got him. Not to blame her, like Peach is really good at doing that. But. So recovering against Catherine is not a death sentence. Yeah. Yeah, reco <laughs> recovering against Catherine is all yeah. but guaranteed. I love you, Donut. I also love Donut. We all loved this is a donut loving chat. Donut's birthday was a few days ago. Let's go donut. Whoa. Whoa. Yeah, Davin really looked like he took a con like I don't know. It might have been Kath just being like I have a lead, I'm just gonna try and hit him. Yeah, and she's still in that mindset probably. Yeah, I definitely have gone to that. She went for that down smash that was like kinda reaching. Yeah. Oh, she's gone to a lot. This game is decided by how many of those stupid down slashes Davin's run into. Yeah. 
That wasn't a very good edge guard. That fair was horrendous by Devin. Oh my god. Why well, does like. Alright, ban Rainer. He said Daisy oh, in the <laughs> Daisy's the best peach color. I don't understand why. Everyone. Too many disgusting degenerates in South Australia. Yeah, it seems like Catherine's just throwing stuff out now. Too. Yeah, good tech chasing, going with the flowers. Ah, oh, that was good jabs out of um, spot dodge. Really good awareness. Go ahead, go. Who do you think's gonna win this? Caleb? Uh, Davin's looking like he's gonna win right now. Just because of yeah, that was pretty good. Weak bear, good coverage. I get to play the loser of this. So you'd rather Catherine lose? Yeah. Not by that much though. I'm happy to play that one. Yeah. Well, it's, he gets into um, winners finals after this one. Yeah. yeah, I know. It's great. If we make a PR, we have to like put Catherine there as one of the things on. Yeah. Or just like in the background. Where's the Australian piano? This is Catherine's yeah. stare, <laughs> like, with like horror filter on it. That'd be great. You can tell it's tournament Davin by how many RPs he does with the ledge. I don't know. I think oh Davin's not panicking, and Catherine is yeah. panicking. That's literally. I uh, like. Davin's like, I know what I have to do to win this game, and Catherine's like, I'm going to try and hit him. And those are two completely different mindsets. Davin's, yeah, Davin's movement is nuts when he's when he's on. But like the thing yeah, about movement is, you sort of have to be in the mindset to know what that movement's doing, otherwise it's pointless. Yeah. But if you are in the mindset, I feel uh, like it, if you're not on, like it's rough. Yeah, because you just run into shit. Yeah. If your main, yeah, if your main like focus is like spacing and movement, and you're not on, you just explode. Yeah, and then you're like, why is my movement getting messed up? And then you focus on like the execution, and then you don't think about your movement. Alright, this is one stitch face away from being an even game. Or maybe not, considering like... Yeah, considering like Gavin. Did early, I think. Yeah. Oh, oh no, she could have just gone down. I, like, I swear to god I play so much now, play. That like, I just have like this trigger in my head to where they've, when they've SD'd. And I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna grab that. Yeah. The Catherine, too respectable player. By rolling in and dash attacking and then down smashing him, she coming down. So much respect going on right now. I'm alright with Sheik's fine in my book. I'd rather ban Luigi. Damn right. That character's way worse. Yeah. Uh, good patience by just waiting for Catherine to do something stupid. Catherine does something stupid and that's over. Pretty Amazing set. Good good win yeah, for Devin. Very entertaining set, actually. Okay. Alright. GG. Oh, no, not like that. That would fool some people. But GG's to Devin and Catherine. GGs. I've got to play Catherine. Alright. Is that going to be on stream? Is Should Catherine me on, on stream? I'm not fast. Oh, okay, sure. So uh, we'll wait for that. Alright, I guess I'm sticking around. Alright. Oh, first. Yeah. I mean, I'm already out, so... Is there anyone I can play... Ca I don't even know if there's anyone I can play friendlies with. Uh, no, I was just coming. It's fine. So who, we, who have we got next? Muscat. Actually, I might see if Wiz available. Alright, you All take right. over with me, guy. So this is loser's bracket, right? Yes, this is loser's quarters. I can okay. Yeah, you can do it. I got it. You got your card. So, who did Will beat to get He here? beat Flareats. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so Flurry was playing Falco. And, yeah. um. Falco is probably <coughs> his best matchup. Yeah, honestly. I agree. <laughs> um. He beat Saucy at the Big Cheese. Oh, yeah, but did he beat him in the tie, in the tie break? I couldn't he remember. Did, but it, it was still really close. Yeah, so. yeah, it was a good match. Alright, but, um. 
Yeah, Musket's gonna have this one on lock, in my opinion. Yeah. I mean, Musket plays against Catherine, like, every yeah, day, that too. probably, so... That too, actually. I always forget about it. I'm like, oh yeah, Musket used to be a Peach man, and that's like yeah, usually my go-to well. thing. Like, he's basically got everything. Mm. Like, everything going for him in this matchup. Um, Kaiser. There we go. Alright. Are we good? Um, by the way, stream, how's the audio? Let me know if I need to turn the game or the microphones up or down. And we'll go from there. Oh, yeah. There Thanks. we go. That's probably a bit better. Okay. So, striking in this matchup with the new rule set. Yeah, so. That's interesting. Yeah, so we're running um, uh, Hax's night, well, mostly Hax's nightclub, but like. Yeah. Um, say so we're doing Frozen Stadium, FD Counter Pick. Um, we're not doing seven minutes, but we do have ledge grab limit. Yeah, and wobbling's banned, or it's I mean, not it's even off. allowed. It's yeah. off, so it's like, it's kind of different. Such an interesting, like, code, too. Um, so we're in it. Yeah. And Musket's in it to win it right now. Oh, I am actually really glad that my new state icons uh, yeah. have stuck around, actually. They oh, look really oh, nice. Oh, that was... <laughs> that weak back air into up smash, that's crazy, man. Yeah. That's crazy, bro. Muscat's definitely got those combos down on Peach. Like, he's really good at wave shining Peach. With Fox, it's so much fun. Like, yeah. the world is your oyster for the combo game in this matchup, I feel. Yeah. But, um, you know, it just it's more about the Peach knowing when to, like, challenge and when not yeah. to challenge. Because, like, um, yeah. it's easy to pop a Nair out. It's easy to pop a Down Smash out there. But yeah. it's not like it's easy to continue... Like to actually stop a combo, yeah, and not and not get outplayed by the fox, especially. It feels like as Peach, you, your goal is just like maneuver the fox into a corner or something. Yeah, and then like read the escape. That's what it seems like to me. Oh, Musk, I messed that up. Surprisingly a slow match right now. Yeah. I mean, Musco was edge guarding Will for like 30 seconds. Oh, I'm gonna just nair that. Yeah, so Muscat does a drill on shield and dies for it. <laughs> Dude, that, that's uh that's a rough one. I'm not it's something that I'm accustomed to, actually. Yeah. I need to retweet the socials. Oh nice, we'll cover the ledge dash there. It's really good. Oh, that was really nice. Oh. Yeah, Will messed up that edge guard and now Muscat's just like hitting him for him. Oh. No, just as fan again. It seems like Muscat's second guessing himself when he gets the drill. Yeah, Muscat's not gonna fall for that. Mr. Satin. It's actually helping a little bit. Yeah, it was bit. so funny that Musket just like punted him. <laughs> just drop kick the damn Mr. Satin. Yeah. Oh, and that's it. First game to Musket. I don't think we expected anything less from him. And I don't yeah. think Will has really much better 
to ask for other than like FOD or FD in this matchup. Yeah. And even then, like you could go FD, but does Will have a better chain yeah. grab than Musket has? Chain uh, grabbing uh, Fox with. Shines? Yeah, chain grabbing Fox of Peach is pretty hard. Yeah, I think Fountain is his best state. Just because of how Will plays. And that's fair, right? Yeah. Like, Will is not the most practiced Punisher of the lot, yeah. of the Peach crowd in in uh, in Australia as a whole. But... He's just going to get his damage through down smashing. And yeah, mostly. Stuff like that. <laughs> I mean, you said it. <laughs> like, and Musket knows how to play around a, that. Yeah, amazing shine. Oh. Interesting. Oh, if he just did another back. Oh, this is still going to work out. Oh. Musket, however, actually knows and practices techs like that, so yeah, he's not going to get an easy down smash like that. Yeah, I feel like in that situation, we could have just gone down and hit him, but it seemed kind of hard to get that. Oh, that's nice. Uh, Will could have shield grabbed that, but he doesn't and he dies. It's looking like a four star. Yeah, this can definitely happen. It, it's on the cards. Oh, if you got the reverse. Yeah. Big. Although. Nice. Hey, we actually got like an edge guard going here. And he drops it. Yeah, he just needed to do his aerial a bit faster, a bit earlier. Four stock hype indeed, man. Oh, oh. Okay, not not just yet. And I know Musket's probably like kicking himself on the inside. He's like, oh, fuck this. <laughs> I mean, I don't think the forward smash is that good, honestly. Could have just dash grabbed. As if that Musket didn't get hit by that second down smash. And that's. Oh, oh. That's that. Oh, nice. Brad combo. <laughs> I actually love it. I love being in a venue and just like in just barely an earshot. Like you just hear someone in the back. It's yeah. gone. Oh, Brad combo! It adds so much to the tournament. Yeah, it's sick. You can chant Brad combo at any tournament. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't have, there's doesn't always he? there's always gonna be someone called Brad, right? <laughs> there's oh yeah, there's literally always gonna be a Brad at the tournament too. Yeah. Sometimes multiple Brads. I didn't even think about that, but that makes it all the better. Ooh, oh, that was nice. Sick actually. call out. Hey, he's keeping it going. Oh, he he wanted it all with that, but must get actually in a bit of a dicey situation here, uh, but. Comes out on top in the scuffle on shield. If Brad, uh, if Will did a shield grab, it would have been great, but he like accidentally yeah. spot dodged. Yeah, he's had a few like situations where if he just went for the shield grab, he would have got it. Like Muscat hasn't been that clean. Oh, that was nice. He just read his spot dodge down so much. Oh! So, Musket... Uh, I don't know if Musket learned that from me from against his Peach all the time, but you love to SEI down on Peach just down airing the ledge like that. Yeah, yeah. Because it's just like... Cause then it's like, alright, try again, buddy. That was nice. Yeah, it means you don't get hit by the Nair after, right? Mm. That's exactly it. It's just like... It's a rinse repeat, and it's still something that they have to not fuck up. Yeah. And in my opinion, that's the greatest strength. Yeah. It's like anything that you can do to make Peaches like not scared, but like anything you do, you can do to like make them have to not fuck up something is good because yeah. I feel like floaties and Peach especially can get away with a lot of like misinputs. Yeah. And, like, you know, like the hitboxes and frame data are like good enough to like get the job done, even if you're not like the most yeah. technical 
Yeah, that's true. Oh! He actually made it back. Ah, he had the call out, but he didn't yeah. believe. He, like, Will? jumped up there, said hi, and then went back down. Yeah. Will def definitely has the right idea, I think. Yeah, he just needs a bit more experience, I think. Yeah. He's doing really well for himself, though. Oh, that's... We're still keeping it close, and I don't know how hard Musket is really working for this win, but... I mean, he's he up two games. Ropes. I mean, yeah, he could be on the ropes right now. And I'm sure Musket knows he's, he's always got he's always got FD, he's always got Stadium, he's always got um, yeah. Yoshi's after this, so... We'll wait and see. That down smash was like, like, it's like a bit. How you going? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like Musk, I was just on the ledge. Oh, oh he didn't grab it. He should have grabbed it. Ah, uh, but that's gonna be it. That's gonna be it. All right, we're gonna get the other losers' quarters on. Uh, and that's Catherine McLeod, right? Yeah. Catherine McLeod, if y'all ready. All right, here they come. Looks like they were playing, so... I mean, surely they were just warming. Mm. Just keeping the sticks warm. So uh, maybe, maybe I shouldn't say that on stream. <laughs> That's yeah. not a good one to use your imagination on. Not, for the, not good for the children at home. Well, this is a mature rated stream, so you know. Yeah. So, uh, who the fuck is McLeod going to play? Yeah, Are they going to be Peach doing this? He's been playing Luigi in this tournament. For some reason. Uh, he played Peach against me. So... I don't know, Davey. We'll wait and see. He went Luigi against me when I played him. Okay. So... McLeod has never beaten Catherine before. But all their sets are pretty decently close. So I wouldn't be surprised if he wins. Okay, I think he might actually be playing Luigi. Yeah. Even though I think that might be a bad idea. Also, I gotta change that bracket. Thank you, gamers. Uh, command bracket. Catherine HGBS. practicing her down smashing. It's something that I think a lot of people don't. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, it's SA Smash dot challenge. Okay. That's right. Yeah, there you go, guys. What's up, Skip? How you been? Uh, it's, it's best of five. five. Yeah. yeah, best of five. Cloud just asking what the format was. Oh, you love to get a fat paycheck. I just ha but and then immediately have to pay rent. Yeah. Ugh. The realest of struggles. Now I think pause is still off, but with this multi mod. You can actually hold X and Y and press start, and it won't oh, pause. That's neat. I think that's sick ass. I yeah. encourage, like, for real, I'm usually, like, not really, um... I'm usually not really, like, want to play the modded melees. Yeah. Uh, this, and, this like, one really want a standard. Yeah. This one just has so many convenient little things. Like, it all adds up, and it's just like, wow. Yeah, I like it a lot. Just, it's really chill. Um, they warm. They warming. So we are seeing Luigi. Yeah, like. it's happening. Um, so what was I going to say, actually? Um, it was that... Uh, the new setups. Something yeah, like so, like, the Frozen Stadium is actually, like, yeah, a I, good code. Yeah. And it doesn't have the bad camera. So yeah, like I think we should so use good. that 
personally, but like I don't think it's going to be an Australian standard just because I know Victoria is going to be like, yeah. Oh, but what about our two players that are going to America? What about yeah. those guys? It seems like whatever Vic does, like everyone else does. So. Yeah. yeah. I I don't know. I just think the fucking I just fucking hate the transformations, dude. Yeah, everyone I just, does. I just I just hate it. Like I just hate the transformations. So when the fact that there is like a working, really good Frozen Stadium code, I fuck with that shit. Yeah. I like no shy guys. Uh, Frozen Wispy, I'm probably like. I'm like 95% on the side of like freezing Wispy, but 5% is just like. Is Wispy? It's not, it's not a big. It's not a big deal. Is Wispy random? Uh, there's actually a logic to it. Oh Jesus. Which and it's to do with like which side of the stage you're on, how much time has passed. Like I think it's more likely to start blowing when someone's off stage. Maybe I can't remember the actual like data about it, but like it's yeah. not completely random. Well, yeah, nothing's completely random. But. Yeah, in this game. <laughs> um, so like. Frozen FOD's stupid. I like no shy guys. I don't really have an opinion either way on Wispy. I like Frozen Stadium a lot. What are they doing? Oh, stage tracking. Uh, oh yeah, they're just doing the stage tracking now and they're like, thank you, Hacks. Hacks, if you watch this, thank you for uh, treading new ground in the rule sets. I really appreciate yeah. it. Because if, if, if someone he's like... He's done a lot of good things. You know, like in his time off, for real, right? Yeah. Actually spent a lot of time just making things better for everyone else. Which I think is amazing. Yeah. Oh my god! McLeod out the gate! He's moving! Yeah. Can't say anybody knows much about this matchup in this. Yeah. <laughs> I've never seen this in my life. But I feel like. I, eh, I don't know. They seem like they have very comparable airspeed. Yeah. Um, but I think that is what's gonna happen the most. Is like, McLeod will probably hit a bit harder, but um, yeah, because he has to wave dash a lot, and because it's just Luigi's things, right? He has a lot of potential to take 50% from a down smash. Yeah, definitely. Um, yeah. So we did see the Hax's nightclub rule set, right? Mm. I think it's mostly good. Yeah. Like the, some of the frozen things I disagree with. Um, the timer as well. It's like seven, seven minutes. minutes. Seems a bit random to me. I think seven minutes is good. Because um, like, like, what are you trying to achieve with just taking a minute off? Okay. All right. So here's here's the um here's the conversation to to have about the timer, right? Right. Um, one ledge grab limit it has to be enforced if you're gonna lower the timer yeah, at that's all. True. Right? So I like oh, I like the ledge grab limit. I don't think it should be 45. I should I think it should be a bit more. Um, just because some lower tier characters have a worse time. Yeah. That's true. Um I think that like basically by lowering it to seven, you are essentially introducing the possibility of a timeout to the match. Yeah. Or, or rather, you're closing the gap or you're, of you're just the increasing the chance. You're, yeah, you're increasing the chance, right? Um, and personally, I think playing the timer is a somewhat of a fundamental, but I think it's an important yeah. part of I mean, any it, fighting game, yeah. any competitive fighting game. In other game. fighting games, like timeouts happen a lot, right? Yeah, yeah. So think about it like this, right? Street Fighter is like two rounds per game. Yeah. And it's start the timer starts at 99 seconds. Yeah. Right? So like roughly a hundred seconds, right? Um, yeah. If each game goes as long as they can and by the timer, right? You have what? 300 seconds. And that's about five minutes? No, six minutes. So that's 300 seconds, and that's six minutes, right? Now think about how we have a whole nother two minutes of the game, right? And if somebody wants to play the timeout, they have to sit it out for eight minutes. Also, swag, McLeod, really swag. Yeah. Davin um, did a similar thing in their match. Grabbed the turn up and threw it back. Yeah, yeah. So, so yeah, basically, like, the fact that, like, uh, 
we as a community ha have like a definitive victory like uh, clauses in place, right? Like whoever has the mo least percent at the time wins, right? Because that's not a thing in the game. Otherwise, it'd be just a draw. Um, because we have that, that means that we are we are aware and we acknowledge the fact that timeouts are uh, a valid method of like victory. Yeah. So by decreasing it by one, you make the possibility higher, and it becomes more of a thing that other characters that might not have the best approach options uh, have another option of victory, basically. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think if in an ideal world, I would probably do six and a half minutes. Really? Yep. Or 6.45. I think seven is slightly... Slightly too, too much. Slightly too much. Like, well, I'm, I don't know. It's like as good as we can really get it without like making everyone want to time out yeah. at six minutes. Seven is like just a, an easy number to remember as well. Yeah, yeah. Like six you could do, but timeouts would happen more often, and I don't think that's actually yeah. what we want. Yeah, I, I don't like timeouts. So yeah, McLeod was down a lot, and now he's back. We're not really now. Ooh, all right. Game one to cast. We're gonna see a ditto. I'm not sure. Yeah. Okay. They, they're just chilling. Oh, they, they might be. <laughs> oh, they're <Yes>! star jumping. <laughs> That's it. I think everyone's caught on to my star jumps mid set. Just we just, did. Just maybe. We didn't get it on stream. But <laughs> they were star jumping. I I got the idea from Tokido. All right. I think that's a man you can take some ideas from. <laughs> yeah, definitely. For, for winning at fighting games, personally. I, I guess it just gets the blood flowing and just like... No, it's it's real. It gets the blood flowing, it gets the blood flowing to your arms, and it also like resets all the bad blood in there. Like Yeah, like... Like I sometimes guess, when you're playing and you've got your arms down, your hands feel like they're swollen a bit. Yeah, and your joints stiffen as well. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah I can see the idea behind it. So, I fuck with Star Jumps Hardcore. But basically, you just need to do any kind of like small physical activity just to get like the blood fresh again. Hmm. It's real. Woo! Oh no! Oh, my God. oh no! Kath expected another up air. Yeah, that's a big thing against Luigi. It's like, is he gonna up air again or is he gonna forward air? It's kind of like See, fighting sheep. I think it's just better to di in anyway. I think yeah. there's such a big difference between up the up air and the. Oh! Damn. Swagmaster. The star jumps working out from a cloud. That's what I mean. You can, you can wave dash faster. Ooh. Well, that's we're playing this really conservatively right now. Yeah. Now, this I mean, is a fucking good Luigi stage. In yeah. this matchup, especially. Oh, no, you hate that. Yeah, forward air is just going to kill really early now, as we saw. Like, even on good DI. Ah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We can't freeze that, unfortunately. Ah! <laughs> what is this tournament? Yeah, we should ban misfires. Uncle Punch, can you disable that? Yeah, yeah, please. Can we have a code that he just misfires every time? What if we, like, rebalance it? No, let's we'll do just that. make SD Remix Luigi always misfire. <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> it's like you can't you can't use it at medium ranges. Or you can't use it close to Oh! Oh! Yeah, McLeod's playing really good now. He's getting some crazy kill confirms. Yeah. His combos of, with Luigi are really, really good. Like even against me when I play him, he like reacts to what I do. Oh damn, he's seeing this! He's actually moving, he's actually reacting. Oh, and he hits the shy guy. That's so optimal. He jabs the shy guy for some reason. So I'm not sure if McLeod kind of like figured this out in my set with him, but like today, kind of, I didn't really go in. Oh, bro. Oh God, how many? Um, yeah, so today I didn't, it, it wasn't like I went into today, I'm like, oh, I'm going to play slower. I'm going to play like, just wait for them to do something, right? Um, oh, no. Oh no. Um, yeah. So what I was gonna say was like, it's not that I went into today playing like this, but like, I wanted to be like, oh yeah, I'll, I'll take a bit more time to like think about what I want to do. 
think yeah. about like what they want to do. Just like stop and wait instead of just like forcing a tempo and yeah. just like break the tempo just and set like it yourself. Instead of autopiloting, just like yeah, actually like kind thinking. of autopiloting, but also just like I just wanted to make some time to like for us both to think. You know, yeah. I like that. Yeah, I don't know about this counter pick. Like. Luigi can just take space really easily just by just wave dashing. Like, to me, right? What kind of big advantages do you get on the stage? Yeah, I don't really know. Oh, actually, honest. you know what? She's got room to dash attack, which I yeah. feel like is working. Now, it's up to McLeod to, like, wave dash in holding down. Yeah. McLeod's also really good at just, like, using dash dance with Luigi. Like he says, dash dancing with Luigi is really good. So. It is pretty good. He's got a good animation for it. Yeah. Oh. Yep. Yep. I mean, it was a good idea, but it didn't work out. Catherine's content to play this, just keeping Luigi in the air, making yeah. him come down into. And it it really feels boxes. like whenever whoever gets a lead is just like gonna snowball it because both characters went off trading. Yeah. Well, it's not so much snowball, it's more like one of them wins the war of attrition. Yeah. And then I think the other player just gets maybe a bit more desperate. Yeah, yeah. The crouch can just start happening. You know, you know how melee is. Yeah. If, it, if you're in 2020 and you're not holding down... Yeah, what are you doing? What? Where have you been? Have you been playing melee at all? Just, just hold down. I like to think of down as like... Just a like an armor option select a bit. Yeah. You can do a move and still hold down. And yeah, you can do yeah. a move and hold C stick down as well. Yeah, it's an ASDI down. Yeah, right? So you automatically can get like at least you can all, you can always like at least hit the stage again. Yeah. Who do you think is the best down holder in Adelaide? Uh I don't know. Um Who's got the skills? <laughs> Who's got the down skills? <laughs> I mean, it's kind of hard to know, work honestly. it out. Right? I, don't, I don't think, like, nobody stands out to me. Yeah, nobody, like, savagely just holds down. Yeah. They don't just look at you holding down. I don't know. Maybe Ruben, because he's Samus. Oh, yeah, actually. Now nah, Ruben's a good down holder, actually. I'm feeling like it's time for my banana to come in clutch, because I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm hungry, too. I specifically only ate like a snack amount of KFC today, just so that I wouldn't get it on the way home. Oh, the, the fireball. fireball changed everything. Yeah. Damn, fucking good movement. Mm. I fucking rate that shit. Like McLeod actually like just used his character, used his strength. Yeah, he's using like everything in his character. I'm loving like how far McLeod's club, man. It's fucking oh. sick. I felt like he could have made that back, he just... I don't know. Oh! Uh, that's not good. Yeah, Catherine might have this stage. Yeah. Like, it's, it might be a bit too hard for Luigi to outplay... Like, out... Like, win probably oh. the next... Okay! No, no, it's, it's on the board now. It's actually on the table for McClutch to show up now. McClutch. Oh, yeah. Shout out to Skip. I think it was Skip in chat. Just yeah. Who said that? Oh, all right. She's actually throwing turnings now. Yeah, Catherine's just attacking on the percent. I think this is how you want to play it now. Oh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. Because now trading is really, really good for Peach. I'm not gonna kill yet. Uh, but this is so hard for Luigi to come back to center. Oh, and she gets a grab. Yeah, McLeod just like ledge dashing and shielding. Getting punished for it. This is a grind of a set. Yeah. I'm gonna say. Right, I'm gonna start mm. up this next game and then I'm gonna go to the toilet so I don't hold All up right. the tournament. Yeah, I'll hold it down. Alright, game Stadium. four. So yeah, stadium, so up B's gonna kill really early now. 
up smash. Yeah, Luigi's jab's not. It's nice pressure, but he jabbed and then kind of just nared out of it. I don't think jab's really that great pressure. Oh, the fireball sends her down. Yeah, I feel like with Luigi, once you get a jab, you kind of just have to do all of them to get the, the third jab. Most Peach is going to punish. And yeah, up smash is going to kill him in the stadium. Turn it messed him up there. That was really unsafe, but somehow it doesn't get punished. Yeah. Yeah, you, you can, it's really easy to tell, like, Catherine just wants to dash attack. And she's just gonna mix up grabbing. She doesn't grab it. Interesting for Catherine to just roll like out of stage. Yeah, Catherine jabbing and McLeod just nearing out of it. I don't think Jab is really good from either side, honestly, in this matchup. Dash attack. Yeah, Catherine needs to watch out for that. Like, McLeod got her with that before, so... Yeah, it seems like McLeod is just doing ledge dash into smash attack now. She holds away. That's it. So I guess Dreamland? I don't think we've seen Dreamland yet. Back. Oh, I made it back in time for another game. Yeah, this is I, game five now. You love to see it, actually. Yeah, I'm feeling like Dreamland is going to be the <coughs> pick. Shout yeah. out to Route One Per. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, Catherine died really, really early on the stadium set, so this makes a lot of sense. This is actually quite a long loser's quarters. Yeah. Like, ooh, ICG! Oh, invisible ceiling. Destroyed! He would have lived that if it didn't get that, actually. Yeah, that's pretty funny. <laughs> Yo, that's actually so great. Ban invisible ceiling. 
That sucks, man. <laughs> that actually <laughs> sucks. Oh, no. Into down like, I would hate for this to be my game five if I was my club. Yeah. Like, oh. Uh, it's just looking so grim. I feel like he's got to work it. He has yeah. to work it if he wants it. Yeah, having a lead is so huge in like, Smash Up. Do you deserve this, McLaren? You know? Do you think this, this is a win that you are owed? You better show what you're worth. Oh. Yeah, this is a huge lead. Like, Peach is gonna, it's gonna take so many hits for Peach to die now. Both. Oh, that's so hard to approach. Yeah. Peach just like throws an aerial and goes in the air, and Luigi's got can't like jump that. Yeah. Just... Luigi isn't very good in the air. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, dash attack. It's not safe. I feel like if you're in my cloud, you might actually have to go to top left. Yeah. You actually might need to camp. Like I mean, that. I guess when you have the lead, you can do that. But. Yeah, I know, but like, I don't think Catherine's one to not approach. Yeah. Like, it's just... I mean, I feel like you could use shield drop to kind of get around a few of like Luigi's weaknesses in this moment, right? I mean... I mean, Catherine is being really, really patient, though. So yeah. Oh! Holy moly. <laughs> that was like the most like hits I've seen in, in like a two second period in this matchup all game. Yeah. He kinda had such a fire Yoshi's game actually. Yeah he did. He got a lot of combos on that stage, but we're not really seeing them here. He's got a jump? Yes. You know what? I think McLeod can grind this out to one stock each. Yeah. Uh, I mean, now it's kind of hard. Now it's kind of hard, right? I think if he got the next, the last stock, it would have been too bad. And he's moving. Mm. Cloud wants to bring nice, us back. Good grab. Poor DI too. Yeah. Catherine's DI hasn't actually been that good, in my opinion. Okay, he's content to trade. I don't think he really wanted yeah, to be trading right trade. now. It's like a surprising decision, right? Like, McLeod isn't so much thinking about like the next stock. He's only getting rid of this one and then just yeah, trying yeah. to see what happens, right? I think you do have to have a strategy here. Mm. You actually have to like think about like what needs to what needs to happen to like get you the most hits and take the least damage. But he's actually moving. Oh, and he's approaching. Oh, he read the roll there. Imagine reading something with Shaw Hop with the Ouija. Yeah. Couldn't be me, because. <laughs> ah! Yeah. He's gotten so much damage to stock, but he's just taken too much. Oh! Damn. If I, was, if I was closer to the right side, we might be seeing a different set right now. Yeah. Nice approach. Roll? Oh, okay. But that's so playing Peach really in a good well spot right now. But nice! That's good. Peach is gonna go high because she doesn't want to go to the ledge. Alright, too many buttons. Too many buttons. Jabbing is really unsafe, I think. At this percent, I think it's fine. Oh, yeah, at this percent. <gasps> oh, Jesus. Um, Catherine's back in. I think McLeod doesn't want full hops at this point. Mm. Full hops, Peach is gonna just rule the roost. Yeah. Oh my god! Yep. There's the gentleman getting punished. There's the up air, but it's not gonna kill. Okay, oh. one last shot. One last shot. I can't believe where this is happening right now. 
I'm shaking. Yeah, I'm actually fucking to play it really, really well. Like, oh he, my god, no CCs coming Jesus. out. Look at all this damage. Oh, that, oh he's living! No way! This fire. He gets out of free because he got. He gets out of jail for free because the turnip. This could happen. This could happen. Yeah. I think I'm Uppy, waiting for Uppy. Uppy kills now. I'm ready. Oh, oh my, god. my god! Jesus. What a comeback! Holy shit! Oh my god! Oh my god! What the fuck? That's insane! Good shit. Holy yeah, that, fuck. That was really good. That's Jesus the Christ. craziest loose quarters I've ever seen. Unbelievable. Can I get some fucking subscribers in chat for that one? That was nuts. Uh, mm. Yeah, it was three. It was three. Alright, so we got Catherine commentating. How do you feel? Oh, I mean, yeah. I... It was a very close game. I fucked up, he fucked up, he fucked up less. Yeah. I feel like your DI could have been better. Yeah. So it's been a while since these guys have played, I think. Davin hasn't really been in SA. And I think these guys have been pretty even from memory. Um, it's not so it's it's better? Yeah, it's way better. Right. Um, this matchup seems to be pretty even from what I've seen. Yeah. I've heard people say, like, Sheik, Sheik wins, I feel like. But I think I've heard people say Falco as well, so it's like, even, I guess. I don't know, like, I think at this level, like, Sheik probably has the advantage, because Falco is really easy to just gimp and kill, just for making mistakes. But, like, Falco is really, really good on FD, and where it can control the pace of the game with lasers and stuff, so... Yeah. Could go goes both ways. I mean, we'll, we'll see um, which way it goes soon. Yep. Kai beat Muscat earlier, so I guess he's playing pretty good. Yeah. I mean, that also is an even matchup, both the characters and players. Yeah, Fox Falco. Yeah. I wonder where the sun. Probably, I don't think. Yeah, so we're starting Dreamland. Uh, how do you change it? Change what? Ah, uh, the screen. Uh, how do you change the screen? Uh, this one. All right. Oh, it looks like oh, it's not. It's when it's finals. 
Oh, yeah. Alright, so three stocks, pretty close. Yeah. Uh, Davin's really good at tech chasing. Oh, he messes it up. Oh, does he mess it up? Oh, yeah. Big room. See, it's all, for, yeah. it's all for that. I guess I guess he like threw him and Kai wasn't expecting to be thrown that way, so he missed the tech. Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Down smash still good, even yeah. not Peach. Every character except Falcon, honestly. Hey, Falcon down smash is real good. Yeah. I mean, I use it when I'm in have invincibility, and sometimes it works. See, the problem is that you use it all the time, at least against me. Yeah. Like, at, when you just get the stock and it's like, it's very predictable. That was a sick edge guard. Yeah. Just like, uses the needle to put him in place, and then just goes down and hits him. It's just like Falco, really. Yeah. Use the bullshit projectile. <laughs> Kai full jumping on the platforms. Comes down. Hey, hey, top flat is top flat is a blessed thing when you Falco. Yeah. Point. Falco's Falco's short hop's really good, so you can just quickly get there and it's just like yeah. And his down air is broken, so. It's just sad that Falcon's down there doesn't do that. Yeah. I mean it can kinda work with Falcon, but it's like it's not the same. It's twice as slow and it doesn't even spike all the time. Yeah, that's true. Oh, crouching under the lasers. Actual big brain? Yeah. I definitely wouldn't have done that. If I can do lower lasers to hit that, I'm pretty sure. But yeah. I mean... It's just, it's a mix-up. Yeah, I mean, you're hypersen and, you know, panic maybe. Right, Kai getting up, doing something. Is he going to star jump? Star jump? Star jump? No. Aww. I'm sad. Yeah, I, I want to call it out, but I don't know. Star jump. Star jump. He's not going to do it. You so. saw some sick star jumping before. Oh, yeah, you, could, you and Connor. Yeah. Yeah, we didn't get it on stream. But oh, well, it wasn't on stream? Oh, it wasn't. Oh, what the fuck? It was, that's sad. Next time, next time we're gonna say we're gonna star jump and whoever's. Yeah. We're gonna have like a new layover for star jumping. Yeah. So it's Frozen Stadium. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like FD is better against she with Falco. I feel like Falco just dominates the neutral and FD. That is the case, but also um, that box seems to be good on FD, at least relative to yeah. what should happen in Sheep. Yeah, I mean, he's got the tech chasing, so that's really good on FD. And I believe Kai is really good on the stage. Mm. Like, he seems to really like the platforms. Yeah, the ceiling, ceiling's really low, so you can just kill him off shine or upbeat. Yeah. Like it's it's a good pick. I mean, I would have picked FD personally, but yeah, I don't main Falco, and I'm not actually good with the character. So. I'm used to main Falco. Yeah. I'm glad you don't anymore. Look, I like to believe you would be there. I hope so. Me too, friend. Oh, oh. Jesus. I just jab? holding in and getting jabbed repeatedly. Well, if he held out. Yeah, if he held out, but he was like really desperate to like get back yeah. on stage because it's foul for him. Yeah. Oh, he missed the punish. I gotta blame him for just hoping that will stop, stop jabbing. Yeah. Oh. Aww. Oh, no, I was gonna see if he can stop off the down. Oh, the coolest thing. Got net play. The moldy shines yeah. in between the stocks. You need to keep your hands warm in between stocks. Just down smash. Yeah. 
That's how I like to keep them warm. Just mash C stick. Yeah. The same APM. Because you're mashing. Yeah. Pulls him out with oh. the back air. Um. See, when you have to up B as a Zelda like that. Yeah, it's basically over. Like, it has worked in the past. Yeah, with plop. Yeah. But you know, Davin's not plop. Well, I mean, it, it's more so like, there's only a certain amount you can do to get back. Yeah, it's Zelda's up B is like really hard to angle. It's hard to aim, you just die if you... Um, headbutt into a wall, you have yeah. to do it with the end lag, and then you have to do it with the Zelda. Like, obviously do it if you can't get back any other way, but it's still... Yeah. It's not good even if you do make it back to stage. It's a battlefield. I think this is a good Sheik stage. Yeah. I'll say it's, it's good for both characters, but I'd say more for Sheik. Yeah, I mean... I think Battlefield's ledges make it easier for, Fal for Sheik to edgeguard Falco. And, yeah, and Falco can't uh, ride the wall. Yeah, exactly. Um, that was a bit of a desperate down there, in my opinion. Oh, jeez. Oh, jabs! Oh, oh. it doesn't work because of the platform. Yeah, Falco's dead there. The Fal Sorry? Oh, I, I just said the big P because... Yeah. Okay, yeah, if Falco's underneath the stage, like, he's basically dead. Yeah. Kai's got a lot of momentum right now in this combo. He's losing it. Yeah. Well, he's getting it. He got it back. Oh, oh that, that was a really good up beat. Oh, that sucks. Misjudged his invincibility and just got punished for it. Yeah. Even so, I liked on um, the angle that yeah. was used. Oh. Oh no. That's not Weird the grab. Just when he lasered, it went the wrong way. Yeah, Kai's complained about that a lot. He wants a controller that doesn't. Oh Jesus. Yeah, Kai definitely complains about like lasering the wrong way a lot with his controllers. Oh, the, the shine that didn't happen. That's sad. When you're going for something and it will work because you just mess up or something. Yeah. Oh no. She got the. Oh, this, is, this is not feeling. Yeah. Yeah. No contest. Kai looking at his controller. There's probably something wrong with it. When you mean a spacey, that that will happen more than. Yeah, definitely. Other characters. So yeah, FD like expected. Yeah. It's definitely um, a free pick against Sheep. Yeah. With pretty much every character as well. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, that's a stop. Pretty good, pretty for good Kai. stop. Yeah. yeah. Still crouch cancel stuff. Oh. oh no. Yeah, he crouched expecting like a tilt, but that one just yeah. grabbed. Yeah. It's a counterplay. Yeah. Oh. Oh. It looked like he messed up there, but he managed to pick it up. That was a good start for that one. Oh. That's a good mash. Kai is pretty good at mashing, I think. I know, but still, like, he paused? Yeah, it's true. It was really early percent as well. Yeah, it was zero, but... I'm almost certain, like, there's no mashing that will get you out if yeah. you do these. Yeah, it's true. Kai lasering a lot more now. Oh. Reacting to the arms attack. 
I was still a good attack though. Yeah, Davin's pretty good at arms attacking. Yeah. Should expect that from him. You really need those, like... Yeah. Sheik mains are really good at it for some reason. They have those souls, that's why they're good. Yeah, I guess so. Speaking of soulless, um, shines. Yeah. Shines are soulless. Yeah. The Peach men, I think they're soulless, and the Falcon men, I'm sure yeah. they really think they're soulless. Yeah. I mean, I think Falco is soulless overall. Mm. Yeah, reaction tech chasing. Look, I, I oh. think Peach means. Like, I'm not saying that. They're not good people, but their character just doesn't... I don't feel the soul in their character. Yeah. I mean, there's things to hate about every character. Yeah. She just makes me sad when I'm bad. Yeah. Diamond goes for the read there instead of reacting. Kai's dead. Well, that was an interesting back air. Pretty nice choice. Oh, he messed up. Got shield grab. Oh. oh. That was good in fairs. Yeah, that was a good punish on Kai messing up. Yeah. Pretty good. Sheik Fair is so good. Yeah, it's insane. It's just big hitbox. Does a lot of knockback. Mm. Damages. So good. Ooh. So I think we got Muzcat McLeod now, right? Ooh. This loses semis. Yeah. Peach Luigi, I'm gonna guess. Maybe. Yeah, actually. I feel like I feel like Muscat's gonna go Fox, and if the Fox doesn't work, he's gonna go Peach. I feel like that's what's gonna happen. It's been a while since I've played Luigi, I assume. Yeah, it, it was really funny because he was telling me last night his Peach was playing really good. And then earlier today, he's like, nah, my Peach is playing bad, I'm gonna go Luigi. Don't tell anyone. Again in practice, but it's being up that Zelda. Yeah. I remember once upon a time, McLeod told me that he thinks Luigi beats Fox. I don't know if he still believes that, but I don't know. he has a really high opinion opinion of Luigi. Yeah. Hey, right, so striking. I I I don't know. Oh yeah, Stadium's the obvious band for Luigi, I think. Like, I'm not sure about other stages, though. Um, Dreamland is... Apparently, at least from what McLeod said, Dreamland is not a good Luigi stage. Oh, really? Yeah. Like, I'm not sure if he's changed his mind about that, but... I know if he's definitely said in the past. Yeah. Yeah, Fox can kind of just like rinse repeat back airing against Luigi. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's not what you want. Yeah. Shine is just broken at edge guarding Luigi. Yeah. He just sends him so down and slap. Yeah. And if you if you away. get hit by the weak up B, you can just spam Shine and just get another one. Yeah. I mean. Ooh, that was, that was really nice. Forward air might not have killed, but up B definitely killed. Hmm. Or at least I've heard that Luigi can combo for us. 
Yeah. Luigi, I think Luigi's got really good combos on Fox. Because you have to get the hit. Yeah. Against this boss. Animal. It sucks as well, because, like, when Luigi gets shined, he gets just sent far away. Yeah. Like that. I mean, at the very least, um, if it's a bigger stage, like Dreamland, mm. or something, when you get shined, you lose a lot of stage, but you're not gonna get yeah. comboed, which is something yeah, I think. Yeah, I think this stage is bad for Luigi, honestly, because of that. Because, like, he just gets sent off stage with one shine, and then he just gets edge guarded for free because it's Luigi. I mean, it's bad in that regard, but for Luigi, he can, oh, uh, like, wave dash from ledge and then go halfway. Yeah, it's true. And also, both characters can kill him, yeah? And Luigi really wants that in the matchup. Yeah, definitely. So Luigi does have chain grabs on Fox, but I guess that's why he goes oh. here. It's interesting. I'm surprised he didn't drop down. Yeah. I guess like, maybe try and make so he wouldn't have hit the hole. Yeah. Oh no. Oh. That's not what you want to see. Yeah. And then when you miss it, you're like, oh my god, am I going to miss it again? Yeah, then, th yeah this is not... I'm, yeah, you see there, he did like a kind of like a, a bad one because he was like, I don't want to die. As the weaves would say it's psychological contamination. Yeah. Uh, hopefully, you can feel more confident because you really need it. Yeah, you need, he needs it right now. Yeah. Not wrong. Yeah, Waves are a contamination. To be fair, they are sort of a disease. We both know we're both two weebs. Hey, 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 I'm a lot of things. I wouldn't say I'm a weeb. I just like anime. Yeah, I mean, me too, but. Good and aerials, oh. Okay. That was a nice grab. Yep. Yeah, oh. Oh, that sucks. Oh. I mean, at least you can't really get much of a punish. Yeah. Like, you get an up smash, but... It's not like you can get like mm. still gets the kill anyway, so yeah. Just the thing about Luigi is that if you're gonna get punished um lots of times you're not gonna get punished very much. Like just a hit or two. Oh yeah. so Panic roll, he just gets punished. Yeah. Oh no. Hey. Uh, he's got. He's got another Looking chance. pretty rough. What, what stage are we gonna see? Uh, yeah, he's gonna stick with it and go FD again, I guess. Oh. But Cloud's one to just like stick with his opinions, even if everyone else disagrees with them. So. Honestly, I don't. I feel like the big. FD being a big stage is not working out, but yeah. it's working out now, so we, you know, if he wins this game, good for him. Yeah. I mean, he, he basically got a, got a hit and just comboed and converted and yeah. killed him, so it's pretty good. He just needs to do that, I guess. When his last game, um, it didn't look like he was using the stage that well. Mm. He was using it there to yeah, he's, punish. He's doing much better. Um, that was a nicely spaced for that. Yeah. Assuming he wins, he's, he's used that momentum for number yeah. two games. Dreamline games, maybe? Yeah, maybe Peach. Oh, that sucks. 
Yeah, that's true. Like, Fox is really good at sharking on this stage, just against anyone. Yeah. But Luigi does have the down air, which is really good against that, I think. It's disjointed. Yeah. And it becomes a mix up. Yeah. So. And then once you use the down air, it's like, I guess Luigi can't really do anything. Cloud not really ledge dashing anymore. Just going for aerials and just like, we're just like getting up and rolling. I feel like that's, if not this game, that's gonna bite him in the back. Yeah. At some point during this set. I guess he just really wants to hold on to the lead that he has. Oh, I guess not. He's going for that. Just give you those ledge dashes. Because then, if you'll be afraid, and, well, not afraid, but. Oh, he's dead. It's okay, it's he's one fair. Probably a B at the very least. Yeah. If I was McLeod right now, I would just camp center stage and just like oh God, go I, for I, trades. Yeah, that was really dangerous. Yeah, that's, that's very horrifying. Like I would not. Yeah, if he gets shrined here, he's like off stage and yeah. it's terrible. He just needs to stay in the center stage. Yeah, Ooh. there we go. Oh. So Dreamland Peach no. No. Stadium. Oh, he's just gonna go Dreamland. Dreamland Fox is also pretty good. Yeah. But just since Anthony likes using the space. Mm. And also he's not gonna die to combos and stuff, so. Yeah. Platforms. He can definitely retreat to the top platform if he yeah. needs to. Fox is really good at platforms really fast. Luigi's a lot slower, so. Yeah. Like, this is by no means a dumb pick at all. Yeah, it's a good pick. Yeah. Oh, this stage uh, is real, can be really good for Game Fox 1 was on Yoshi's story, so he couldn't have gone there. So it's either this or Stadium, I guess. I think this one is a more reasonable pick. Just because it's safer. Yeah. I mean, Muscat is the better player, like, he's gonna outplay the player. Yeah. So. This just gives him more chances to do that, so I guess it makes sense. And also, um, unlike Falcon, Fox can definitely mix up his recovery much more. Yeah, he can just go high and then like have like a million yeah. different angles. Yeah. yeah. Just he flat out can go further with his up beam. Yeah, I mean you're right, but yeah. But like, I think, yeah, like I said before, I think Muscat's reasoning behind this pick is that he's the better player, so he's going to get those outplays more. So, I mean, I think both of them are good picks. So. Also, he might get a shine and then that can set up for a gim. Yeah. And that just cheats away a stock. Which is really big on the stage. Yeah. If you SD or get gims, you feel really bad. Yeah. Because, like, every character's living for a longer time, so, like, losing yeah. a stock is, like, a huge deficit on the stage. Especially if you, like, lose a stock very quickly as Luigi. Like you're supposed to live so long on this stage. It's oh. rolling a lot for some reason. Hey, that's the winning strike. Ah, uh, but he's probably... Oh, well, panic, I'd say. Ooh. Oh, nice. What a pinch, man. I mean, down smash is just good as a combo. Yeah. 
I know, it's just down smash and down smash. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, my cloud's kind of coming back in yeah. this set. Yeah, now it's very even. Yeah. Like, you definitely need to... It'll be really interesting to see what McLeod, what Muscat does if he loses this game. I don't... Honestly, I feel like he would stay Fox, just because yeah. it's not worth to try Peach to sleep. Yeah, Peach might, might not be warmed up. Yeah. Like, pe people would joke about how Peach doesn't require tech skill, yeah. but you still need to be able to fast yeah. all your areas I mean, and chew. Oh, no. yeah. oh. oh he, he had that. Ooh. Oh my god. Yeah, he had that, but he just didn't fast for it. That's to a like, close game. Yeah. Good game. Oh. oh, well. McLeod still did really well this tournament, so. Oh, he shouldn't be too mad. He's, it's probably more that he fucked up at the end. Yeah. Like, happens. I it was so I think. It happens. Hey, did he actually throw his controller down? Uh, I don't know, I, I just thought it thumb, but I don't know. We don't we don't need to talk about it. it. Happens to everyone. So it's losers finals now, Kai against Muscat. some jokes like about people compare Peach to spaces and sometimes you get like just dumbasses saying, oh, you don't need tech skill, you just down smash, lol. Yeah, I mean that's the meme, but yeah. I don't think many people actually believe that, like at the top level, like Peach is really hard, obviously, there aren't, like there are top Peaches now, but none of them are like winning tournaments or anything, yeah. like you definitely need to be good at the game to win with Peach. Like, every character requires, like, some degree of skill. Some characters are, like, less technical skill and more, um, finesse and timing. Yeah, yeah. Like, Mark, um, I'm sure his, um, like, the ceiling for tech skill isn't that high for him, but you have to manage your movement really carefully. Yeah. Yeah, Peach is really slow, so like you have to. I feel like the way Peach plays against like every character is like she just maneuvers the other character into a corner and just like capitalizes off of that. Well, sometimes you just um you you do something and you make them do a bad option because you're just outside their punish range, but they think yeah. they can punish you. Yeah, definitely. Like dash attack, you know, just dash attack. Yeah, dash attack. Dash attack's broken. Clearly, that is clearly what you should be doing. You should always dash attack. Not just memeing here. That's Catherine's advice. For any peaches in the chat, dash attack. Dash attack. That's what Catherine does. She got... She does pretty well now. Thank you. Hey, thank you for such high praise. Yeah, I saw Gooch in the chat. Gooch, you need a dash tag more. Alright, so last time these guys played um, Muscat 1, it was at Big Cheese, right? Didn't, yeah. didn't they play the day though? Uh, I think they they played for top 8 and Muscat 1 and made top 8, Kai got 9. No, I meant to wait. Oh no, yeah. Kai lost to Davin. I, I don't know anything right now. No, don't say that. It blows together. So yeah, these guys are pretty even sets, honestly. Like. Yeah. Like, they go back and forth and... You don't know who's gonna win, it's usually game five. Yeah, resets. Yeah. If they're both in grand finals. Any greasy, greasy chicken is eaten later. Yeah. That's a classic. Yeah. yeah. 
So Muscat just full hopping over Falco is like, that's a pretty common strategy against Falco. Yeah. Because like, you just jump over lasers, back airs, and just like come in with an air or something. It's pretty good. I mean like, you need to, you need to nullify the effect of lasers somehow. Yeah. Especially as far away. you really need your momentum and movement. It looked like Kai was trying to down air there, but he did a down smash instead. Yeah, that can, that can oh. And yeah, he loses a stock because of it. And now he's down. He shone that, but I don't think there was any shone that would have um, gone them to live. Yeah. That was a really good down smash. Grabs. Yeah, that, that was kind of cheesy, going for F smash. Oh, just a break in the lasers. Yeah, Muscat. Oh. He had Kai in the corner, but just dashed back out of laser for some reason. He could have just gone in and pressured him. Really good text. That was oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, that was clean. Yeah, it was very clean. And Falco's throw is so sad. Yeah, like, you know, a forward throw off stage. That can definitely sell. Yeah. But it's like that that's all he has really. Like he doesn't really have like any anything guaranteed as far as I know. Hey, hey, hey. If the opponent doesn't know you can back throw into another back throw. Yeah. Oh. I'm not very happy about that. Yeah. Oh yeah, you can get shines, I guess, from the floor. Good choice. Like, yeah. I'd say go for both characters, but yeah. I seem to fall off the stage. I feel like every stage is pretty even except for FD, which I think is in Fox's favor, the chain grab. It is, it's just I don't know, I have this theory in my mind like of a Falco just using lasers locking yeah. down Fox, but Yeah. Yeah, I can see that. It's it's not like a heavy or anything. Like it's just I'm not taking into account human error mm. or realistic gameplay. Yeah. Even at top level. Oh, he messed up. He definitely meant to just like do an aerial or something, but he just dies for it. Yeah, it'll happen. It's a good aerial, just stuffing Kai's laser. I don't think that was a very good laser, to be honest. It was good enough in his mind. Yeah. You don't want to laser too close to Fox, because Fox can just like stuff you out. Yeah. Ooh, that Ooh. jab crap, that was funny. He just got jabbed and he was like, what the hell is going on? Now you know if it works, it works. Yeah. Take those. Sometimes if you just do a dumb option and you get a stop. Yeah, because the other guy's like, what the hell is this? Yeah. I feel that a lot. Oh. Muscat doesn't oh. dash dance, but no, that's good. Plus your pressure. Oh, he barely just grabs the ledge. But his ledge dash just gets stuffed anyway. I was thinking. Yeah. Sometimes you need to just like mm. wait a bit. Yeah. Just like recollect. Oh. Yeah. He recollected. He's awake. Yeah. It's a very important game. Like you don't want to go down heavily like this. 
If you're if you're O2 in a first of five, it yeah, it's it's not good. Like you're not all manfully out, but you have to win on like your opponent's counter pick twice. Like, yeah, that's rough. It isn't. Oh no. Oh. It's a really good edge guard at the end, like. Ooh, okay. yeah. Ty taking his time. So we're we gonna see Battlefield again or Dreamland. It's an interesting choice, so. Oh, I, I guess he just. Oh, sorry. Oh, I was just gonna say, I assume he believes he can use the space battle. Yeah, that's true. Oh, what were you gonna say? Uh, I don't know. I was, I was saying, I guess he just doesn't want to die as early, because like he can stay, he can stay in center stage, and like if he gets hit, he doesn't get sent off, kind of thing. Yeah. Yeah. So he's staying in center stage now. As, as you do. Yeah. Oh, that was. Yeah, Muska just reacts and shines. See, these two have played so many sets yeah. in Colton, so you kind of should know that Anthony loves Dreamland. Uh, does he? Well, at the very least, I'd, I'd say he likes the stage. Yeah. He we went there against McLeod earlier when, like, could have gone stadium, so it makes yeah. sense. He has a big open terrain to run yeah. platform to help him pop part to retreat to. Yeah. Uh, hopefully Kai would know this after playing so many sets, so... Yeah. I mean, matchup-wise, there's not... It's pretty even, like... Yeah. But I guess, like, there's the player advantage, so... You really do need to account for the player sometimes, like, yeah. obviously, there are situations where you can't or don't know, but I like to leave Kai away and well. Yeah, that could have been really bad for Kai there. He's lucky he got that back there, or if he'd gone shine, he would have been dead. Yeah. You know, he... You know what? That back end definitely has saved his morale. Yeah, definitely. Oh, that's okay. At least Falco, this is definitely a matchup where you can get stocks off quickly. Yeah. But Kai, yeah. yeah. It's, it's different. It was diff it's been different from the last few sets because we've had like a floaty or something. But, like, it's too fast forwards, like anything can happen really. Yeah. Like, back. It's still hard. Yeah. It's like Falco combos are kind of hard. Um, like, I mean. I mean, if you if you want to kill them, like off yeah. a hit, it's hard. But like, you can always get like some guaranteed percent. Yeah. The start of them, like the dare and shine parts are pretty easy. Not gonna lie. Yeah, that's true. Although getting getting that hit, that is definitely hard, especially yeah. against Fox. Mm. Or at least a good Fox. I just multi shining and. Gets hit for us, and that's it. So now we got Muscat Davin. Yeah. Did Davin beat Muscat previously? Uh, I don't remember. I was playing a tournament set while that was happening, if it was. Yeah. I don't remember either. It's alright. Uh, we'll find out. Yeah. Oh, Rumble. Rumble. Your brethren. But does Davin use Rumble? Apparently so. Disgusting. Oh, oh, he's busting out the Zelda. Damn. Uh, no. The trick does. Stay Zelda. Honestly, I'm kind of hungry. Like, I don't want him to do that. I kind of just want this to finish. It's only 8.30. We'll probably finish it. 
I guess, yeah, we have to also pack up stuff. Yeah. No, Cody, 10. Need more down smashes. Yeah, both these guys. So yeah, I I assume they played in winners because I I don't know how else it would have this would have happened. Yeah. I guess Devon won the winners. Yeah, Devon. Oh. It was definitely winners because I played in winners. Yeah. So, stadium fan. Yoshi's. Yeah. Dreamland. Nice. Dreamland's pretty good for Shake, in my opinion. Yeah. It's also good for Fox. Like, yeah. It's not a stage where you really begrudge going to. Yeah. Uh, at least if your Fox is okay with like, large spaces. Yeah. I mean, Muscat likes the stage, so. Yeah. Ooh, that was a nice shine, actually. That's pretty good. Cool. Oh, that's a good tech. Attack. Yep. I really need those. I said it before and I'll say it again. Just oh, in general. He's dead. Oh. Ooh. Oh, he messed up. Yeah. Oh no. You're above a hundred. Uh, really scrappy stock, but gets it in the end. Oh, the needle was messed up. Messed him up. He was trying to grab the ledge. Needles ruin everything. Let him just stay on the ground. Actually, can mess up what you're doing. Let's go shine. Uh, let me clap to the three. <laughs> Devin messed up his reaction there. Devin's one of the few people that actually does the crouch on this deck, which is really good. It's good down smash. How do you feel about potentially commentating for another hour? Uh, I've been, I've been, com I've been, com I've commentated like four sets. I think at this point, I don't think I've really commentated a set before this. So. Up his reaction. Yeah. I feel like he could have got that grab, but a bit slow. Wave shines. To be fair, it's like getting on later in the night. Yeah, everyone's tired. Oh no. Oh my god. Like, they're not gonna be brain dead. But oh. Oh my god. 
That was pretty insane. Probably pretty lucky, to be honest. Hey, wait, the game in. That, that's... that's... Oh, he's going fun. box. I guess for FD. Well, no. It makes sense, right? I know, but... I fear for the fox. The strategy on this stage is like really simple. You just get a corner, get a grab. So. That's a pretty good strategy. Well, I did. Oh, that messes up his edge guard oh. and he's dead because of it. Yeah. The problem with this counter pick is that the other fox can do the same thing, so. Yeah. Maybe you should try my off. No. Yeah. Can't change right now. Ooh, that was that was sick actually. That reverse back air, yeah, that was really sick. It's really nice to see like a chain grab actually lead him to a kill. Yeah, exactly. It's like wow, we actually play like the top players. Yeah. SA's good. Oh, Davin messes up his chain grab. No, it's okay. On yeah, purpose. He... He's not even chain grabbing, he's just... Oh, Jesus. I mean, oh. at some point you need to, need to do free yeah, flowing like... stuff. Once you get to that high-ish percent, you want to start going for like back airs or nears to like combo into up smash, I guess. I think it also depends on how the DI, like, yeah. the DI, no DI, or DI up, um, you can't get a grab, you have to go for, I believe, up tilt, back air. There's a nice armada shine at the end. Goes back to Sheik. Yeah. yeah, I would say Battlefield is like the second best pick, aside from Dreamland, in my opinion. Uh, Maybe Fountain. Yeah. yeah. I feel like Fountain is actually pretty good in this matchup for the Sheik. Mm. Like a lot of foxes are not comfortable on that stage. Yeah. Honestly, any triplat stage is good for Sheik, because like Sheik's really good at shield dropping, so. Mm. Sheik needs platforms to move. Yeah. Yeah, like, look at that. Look at that, that looks so good. It's a nice movement. You don't get that on FD. Yeah. Interesting goes for an up smash instead of like a re grab. Because I feel like up, up smash just kind of like ends the combo. Oh. Maybe he thought he was gonna jump. Yeah, I guess so. Oh, he tried oh. to like tomahawk him, but like he messed up. Yeah. Yeah, with the foot. Misses the foot there. Yeah, now out of shield or Sheik is like amazing. Just hits. Yeah. It's really fast. Sheik's jump squad is like frame three, so it's really fast. It's long. Oh. Davin's been messing up his ledge dashes. He messed one up with Fox earlier. He's messing it up with Sheik now. Like I said, it's um, later into the night. They're probably not at peak performance. Yeah. At the very least, I hope this is not peak performance. Yeah. It's just like it's fair, people get tired. Yeah. I, I know I'm tired. I'm tired. <laughs> I believe in that. Oh, 
that was an interesting idea. Oh, wow. Yeah. That's another reason why Battlefield's good, is because it cuts off spacey recoveries. Yeah. Stuff like that can happen. Oh, that was, that was a nice grab. Mm. Sheik's gonna go to the ledge because her up B is really laggy, so... Muscat knows that, so he's gonna go to the ledge. At the early percents, like, Sheik's gonna go for grab most of the time. Yeah. Cause Fox can just hold down and just, like, crouch cancel the tilts. Well, then when they start spot dodging, then you can go for dash attack. Yeah. Oh, oh that, that was... that was... It worked out, but... Yeah, it was definitely a forward air, but he messed yeah. up. Still got it. Yeah. I mean, Fox is still, like, he's off stage, very awkward position. That was a very wise air dodge. Yeah. Knew that Davin was going to go for that kind of setup. Oh, Ooh, that was, uh, yeah, you don't want to do that. That was, that was definitely no intention. Mm. Big. At very least it happened after he took a stop. Yeah. Yeah. It's pretty good. Definitely a really good Rank cheap. number five in Australia. Yeah, I know you're joking. You know, he, he is good. Though, right? Sometimes he does down throw to another down throw. Messed up his jab reset and Mus Muscat gets out and kills him. Yeah. You're not gonna feel good about that. Yeah. So this set is not a feel good in general. This hasn't really been a feel good set. Like both players have been messing up a lot of little things. Yeah, it's a lot. It's pretty scrappy. It's not a set where. It's not a set where you're gonna look back and be like, oh my god, this yeah. is so good. Game, but this has not been the best set. Yeah. For each of them. Ooh. Almost spaced around that up smash, but still got hit by it. Yeah. So we got a reset. Darkest timeline. I feel like most SA tournaments have resets in them. Unless Nick shows up. So we start on Dreamland again. Good stage. Yeah. Seems like Davin's kind of second guessing his reaction tech chase. Yeah. That time of night, I guess. But when you flop too, too many times, I don't know. It's, 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 I feel like it's compounding on him. Yeah. Like his mistakes. Yeah. Not just what happens, like not just the consequences, but also his willingness to go for certain options. Yeah. Muscat missing the tap repeatedly and just getting a move for it. It's hard 
do a tour, but sometimes you really need to power through like your worries about doing a certain option. Yeah, definitely. Ooh. That was good. Because like you really need to do like ledge dashes to be able to keep chasing. And proper edge guarding. Yeah. And if like you go for the easiest stuff then like, lots of times you're still gonna lose. Yeah. If, I guess if you just go for like the low risk, low reward kind of stuff all the time. Yeah. You're not gonna beat somebody who like executes the high reward stuff consistently. So yeah, it makes sense. It's a nice needle grab. It's looking pretty good in this game, you know. Yeah. Two stocks up. What you really want, obviously. Oh, that, that was interesting, but that, that was, um, two kind of drops it. Just a pause. <laughs> that one was trying to go for like a reverse back air forward air, but the ledge kind of ruined him. What he was trying to do. First down tilt. It worked out. You know, he's yeah. probably feeling much better from the last set already. Yeah, he's like, I just need a win too. Yeah. It's a nice thing. Winning winners. You have a nice other set to rest back yeah. on. Yeah, so like adapt from that. Yeah. So Devin stays chic this time mm. instead of going fox. Makes sense. Yeah, he's, he's like, maybe the fox isn't gonna work on this one. Just go my best character. Yeah. This matchup is favorite against Sheik. And it's FD, but sometimes you have to do that. Davin kind of just run up grabbing. The Falcon. Yeah. All in this. Yeah, I think he got, he got a bit greedy going for the second back here. The first one that looked really cool. I definitely would have done it. Yeah. Sure is that he knows what he's doing. Yeah, I think that was about the only way he could have extended that combo as well. Yeah. So it's pretty good. She is honestly kind of a really cool character sometimes. Yeah, she is pretty cool. Oh, that. I don't know, I don't I don't like that air dodge. I guess he thought he could have made the stage. But... Yeah. Oh. Oh, oh, he jumped out at the last moment. Oh no. Muscat's just approaching and shielding right now, it seems like. That was just doing an aerial or a tilt, just getting shielded. But he's still up, so. Oh, that was nice. That was really neat, really good. Yeah, Muscat's really good at wave shining, from my experience. Yeah. From your experience as well? No, just the way you said from my experience. He makes me sad. Yeah. When, when you're getting wave shine this falcon, then yeah. you can't even wall tech it. Does that bring up memories? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Same as Peach. Yeah. It's pretty easy on Peach, right? 
Yeah, I think it's slightly easier on Beach and Falcon, but Beach has an easy way to punish. Yeah. Just hold both sticks down. Yeah, I guess with Peach there's that risk, like if you mess up, you just get down smashed and you're holding down, so it's kind of more dangerous with Peach. Like, That's a brain dead punish, like, I'm not even saying that you should do it if you think you're gonna be off because it's still five frames. Yeah. I mean, like, if they execute it, you get wave shine. If they mess up, then they get down smash, so it's like pretty good to do that. All of Muscat's techs are getting red. Yeah, he didn't intend for that to happen. Yeah, that's not gonna kill. Oh, that was that was nice. He made him jump. He baited him with his like movement, and then just like hit him as he jumped. And that's really, that's really good. Yeah, he was just off stage without a double jump. He's just dead. Muscat's moving really well right now. Shielding with Fox is really good against Sheik because you know you can just convert it into a wave shine to just sort. It's not like Sheik can down throw and then just even an up air off air. Yeah. Pretty sure at least it's not like teach. I feel like Davin needs to like find more ways to like incorporate grabbing him. His musket's just shielding a lot, just running at him and shielding. Or like when um, Davin's jumping, Musket just shields. I mean, it's working. Yeah. Unless he realizes that, uh, he's gonna keep shielding. I mean, you saw it right there. He just shielded. If he had grabbed. He wins it anyway. At the very least, um, the attack shield, it's like space. Yeah, that, that's true as well. Like, you can space better. Yeah. And then, like, punish the dare follow up after. So, Frozen Stadium. How do you feel about Frozen Stadium? I think it makes the stage. The stage is actually not shit, but as a Peach yeah. player, I still don't like it. Yeah, it's, it's great. As a, as a Falcon player, it's great, because, like, yeah. FD's a counter pick, so I don't have to ban it. Like, I started Dreamland against Muscat game one, and I was like, yes. I mean, Falcon Man will not affect it that much. Like, I'm fine yeah. star on Battlefield. Well, Fox usually bans Battlefield against Falcon. Oh, I meant, like, Peach Falcon. Oh. Yeah, I feel like it's better for Falcon against Peach because like FD, I don't have to ban FD, and then Stadium's good for me. I'm not, I'm not saying that Peach should be going to Battlefield against Falcon, but yeah. I like going there and it's yeah. hopefully it's worked out for me. Yeah, we always start on Battlefield. It's just so nice, honestly, just up throw Falcon, block throws. Platforms. Yeah, I know you like it. I know. So fun. And then like, when you're on the platform, just near, and you go to shield drop, but then features a down smash. 
It's so cool, right? No, it's not. I think it's cool. Beach man. I don't know about these up smashes, to be honest. I thought was gonna go for up, okay. Yeah. Maybe shark on the way down. It seems like Fox can just DI to escape and she can't really follow up after it. That was a bit hard to get a follow up there. Fox can't really do anything. Ooh, that's really good. Yeah, that was a good back air as well. Yeah. yeah, Muscat knows the percentage when Ops smash the kill. Yeah. So this is the final game. Final game. Oh. Uh, we haven't seen this stage yet, I'm pretty sure. The mythical beast. I love this stage. It's so cool. You down smash. I hate it. You try down smash. I play Falcon. You try using your Peach that you have. Down my smash. my Peach isn't ready yet. When it is ready, you just down smash. Yeah. Okay, it, it's more sophisticated than that, but if you're on a platform and they think you're gonna down smash, um, the opponent will often do like a predictable option, and you can definitely punish that. Yeah. So good. Oh. Yeah, those wave shines are making like such a huge difference, honestly, because like that's that's about like getting a shine as Sheikah's recovering like that is just about the best thing you can get. And then it leads to an up smash and it's just like damn. Oh, I really like the short he was going for. Hmm. Like you can definitely do those sort of shorts. It's just not that, not that short. But as I was saying before, um, really good for me to do that in the matchups. Way shining is, it's just so crucial, honestly. Yeah, it's, it's Fox's punish game, like, against a bunch of characters. Mm. It's not a soul punish, but... Yeah. It's like if you have it, it's so it's such a huge deal. Yeah. I can't. Not even like. You want to have the ability to do it to the end of the stage, but even yeah. just a couple can make so much of a difference. Yeah. This is really even. Yeah. Crouch cancel. Crouch cancel good. Yeah. That was interesting. I like the dash dancing there. Try and bait them into doing something. Yeah. Alright. I saw Okay. Damn. This is Last stop? Yeah. Oh no. Spot dodge. Yeah. They're both scrapping really hard. Yeah. 
Oh, oh no. You didn't want to get hit like that. Oh, that's oh. not what yeah. Oh no. That's it. Oh. Oh. Good game, good set. Yeah, pretty, very competitive set. Alright. Like I, feel, I feel like this one, this set, after the first one, was a lot better. Yeah, it was. Muscat was playing a lot better, in my opinion. Yeah. I think Davin. And even though he reset. Mm. Davin kind of just like second guessing his reaction tech chase, which is like really huge. Because that's basically your punish game against Fox. Yeah, it felt like he was doing better in other areas. Yeah. Like yeah. Alright, well, I guess that's enough for us. Mm. So it was fun. See you guys later. Yeah, we'll see you next time. Hey stream, what's happening? We just saw Davox lost, l lose against Muscat, very sad, but it's alright, he'll come back next time. See Brad in the stream and Skip on the stream, you guys still there? Make sure to follow, like and subscribe KP Kaiser. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
Hey everybody, thank you for watching as always. I really appreciate the viewership we had today. It was a nice time on stream actually. Uh, I think it's this one. Hey, there I am. Um, yeah, thanks for watching. I'm Kaiser. I run the stream sometimes. I bring all the equipment, set it up, let the community do, do what they want. Anyway, thank you for watching. Really appreciate it. The VODs will be up at SA Smash TV on YouTube. And um, basically, like, we've got Big Cheese 2 VODs to get through first, so these won't be coming for a little bit. Um, yeah, thank you for Rain, rain for, um, for the donation as well. Thank you for the resubs. We had Midori and Donut off the top of my head. That was nice. Really appreciate all of all of the support, as always. I don't know how far off like Twitch payout I am, but like you know, we out here. Um, yeah, we're gonna be packing up. Everyone wants to go get food. I want to go. I should really pack up and go home because I'm just trying to muster up the motivation and energy to pack it all up. But anyway, you can follow me on Twitter at KP Kaiser. Uh, socials. Uh, what the fuck? That's not it. Socials. Uh, there you go. Uh, social. What's wrong with me? What's wrong with me? Hang on. I'm changing that shit. <laughs> I'm changing that shit. Command. No, it's um. No, it is command. Uh, socials. Fuck. There you go. Got to have both. Yeah, I think I'm done. <laughs> um, God, I feel terrible still being in my work clothes. Chop and work and then... Then evac. It's definitely... is something. Oh, I just feel lost at the moment. Just so disappointed with how I played. Like... I know it's because I haven't played a person in probably since like Big Cheese, right? But like, kind of crap. Just controller did a few things. Post Tony interview, yeah, yeah. I like that shit. I just talk anyway. I reckon next, like, so you know how Friday, right? We usually have evac, um, and we usually have a tournament and stuff. But like, it's not every week. It's we have an off week in between. I reckon in between like tournaments on the off weeks, I do like a stage podcast thing, and we can have cheese and wine, and it can be me and Flare Rats just talking for like an hour or two. I can, I can fuck with that shit. Um, the next like event for us, I reckon, is like the first Cheese League of the year, which will be next Sunday. So not this Sunday coming up, but like the next one. Um. And in between that, we don't really have much more SA Melee coming up. The... Yeah. I'm keen for Phantom. That's the next big, like, Australian event. I'm like... I should really book my stuff for it because it's in March. It's at the start of March, so I should really... I mean, I've only really got, like, a month and a half to get it sorted. Hopefully RCJ will still house me. Hopefully, hopefully he will house me again. He will, he will be a return houser. Um, we don't know if we're going to be back in this room next week, because the Adelaide Fringe is on and they're going to be using the space again. Um, yeah. Fuck, I should go. I'm just stalling, because I'm not salty, but like, just processing. I don't know. I don't know how to like, not feel like dog shit when... I just feel let down all the time in Melee. I don't know how to, like, change that. Alright. I, I feel like I just look at Melee so often, and I'm just like... Ugh. Or, like, I look at a match of mine or something. Or, like... I don't know. I don't know how to not, like... Not see my mistakes when I'm playing. Like, the act of, like, pressing the button and, like, moving the stick and, like, moving it in a certain way and expecting a certain thing to come, like, to happen in the game and then just have it not happen. I don't know how to, like, get over that. 
because it's. It, it, I feel like it's a very specific thing that I am very well, that upsets me when I play. So much of it has to do with controllers, but it's not even just that. But like, Jesus Christ! Thanks, Twitch. Um. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, kind kind of getting rambling territory. Anyway, Jesus, I don't want to watch this stream, Twitch. Fuck! I just went to the home page and just got fucking ear blasted. Anyway, I'm going. Who's who's streaming melee right now? Right this second. I think I am the sole like one other person, maybe um, maybe pl uh, streaming melee right now. But I guess I'll host Spud Hunter because I like FPS and he's a sweaty FPS gamer. So and he's from Adelaide, so that's the real reason. He, he support the locals. Uh, I mean, that is one way to think about it, Ranth, but, like, there's literally always mistakes in melee matches, so it's, like, I don't think that's a reasonable... I don't know. It, it, it's, like... <sighs> it's hard to, like, be adaptive about melee. Cause I don't, I feel like I can't. It's not that I can't visualize it. It's like. It's hard to not feel disappointed a lot. Like when I play, I really do enjoy playing. I really do enjoy competing and playing against other people in tournament. Like that shit slaps, man. I love tournaments. Um. I don't know. I can't. I can't tell if I'm just like overrating myself constantly. I think that's it. Is like I can't tell if I'm like under not yeah if I'm like undeservedly rating myself. I guess I just see mistakes. Well, not even that. Not even that. I see mistakes. I just see shit that's like. I just see like annoying, like things things annoy me all the time in Valley. I don't know how to get over it. Um, God, I'm fucking rambling. I'm just hungry as well. <laughs> I think that's it. It's just like maybe my body doesn't like its needs not being met. I should go home. Just gotta pack up, and it's just upsetting to have to pack up. Uh, okay. All right, I'm hosting Spud Hunter. He's cool. He's funny. He he runs a really tight home broadcast. I'm gonna peace out before I bore everyone to death. Bye bye, everyone. It was nice having you here. Thanks for listening to me ramble. <laughs>